Guess who lost the nest back? Back again. Hello, friends. Can y'all hear me okay? Can you hear me? Hi! What's going on? Gab! First of all, thank you for the five months. Welcome on back. How you doing today? Thank you so much for the support, though. Welcome on in. How are you? Bugs. Tiwi Yen, Lindsay, Katara, Ship, Diva, Taylor. Hello, everyone. Lindsay, how are you doing? Yes, Cal, it's the baking stream. You're so cute. Hello, Kemma. I nerd fart. What's going on? <laughs> Amy. 12 freaking months. Frying high bunnies, frying hypes, frying bean. One freaking year. Thank you so much, Amy, for 12 months. I appreciate you so gosh darn much. How are you? Nerd Fart! Congratulations again! I'm so freaking happy! Hi, Riot! Hey, Bugs, I hope you're doing good today. You said you're struggling with cramps. Tam, stopping by for a sleep, and I'll tell you, sticker arrived. Yay, I'm so glad. Your baby is like, what is that? <laughs> What is that green thing? You know, it's like Richard all over again. <clears throat> Can't believe it. I'm doing good. I'm vibing with some Animal Crossing. That sounds awesome. What are you working on? What you working on? I know I get to make some gingerbread cookies. Today, I'm excited. Hello, Brittany. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm trying to pull up the my recipe over here on my other monitor. Thanks, actually disbelief and absolutely proud of yourself. And you should be freaking proud of yourself. I kind of look like Richard. Thanks. I think we might be related. <laughs> oh, she tried to pickle earlier and I actually liked it. So maybe she's like, hmm, what is this? Hi, teeny fart. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Never had gingerbread cookies. They are so good. I love them. I love spice cookies, like molasses cookies, gingerbread, all that stuff. Star Dreamer, making you hot. I know you like the pickle. <laughs> Just kidding, Katara. Holy crap! Star Dreamer! Thank you so much for the 15 months. And there's a hype train. I don't have my hat. So I'm going to do this. So thank you so much for the 15 months. Thank you all for your support. Welcome on in. Now you'll crave gingerbread cookies, right? 
right? I know they're so good. Thank you guys so much for supporting and thanks for being here. The pickle dance. Wait, I have to start dancing like a Sims 4 toddler. <laughs> That's what's gotta happen. <laughs> I hope everyone had a really good day though. Welcome on in. Hi, yeah. Miss. <laughs> Miss, thank you for the 200 biddies. Hi, D. What's happening? <laughs> We're going to bake the gayest gingerbread cookies ever today, and I'm excited for that. Three and five that aren't the secret sound. Um, I actually don't remember what the secret sound is. <laughs> By the way, speaking of which, this little thing, everything's all backwards here. Um, I'm raffling the cookies because I don't need to have all of them in my house. So... If you happen to gift subs during uh, the stream, then I'll reach out to you and send them. It's for US only, unfortunately. Love the pickle costume. You're making my day. Yay! Because <laughs> customs won't allow me to, well, they'll take forever and they'll be like bad. Plus, it'll be really, really, it'll be like $60. But um, you can enter yourself into the raffle if you want to uh, get some cookies. There's two winners that I'll be picking. Um, love the picking pickle costume. Yes, miss. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's amazing. I appreciate you. Hello. Hey, Diva. Thank you. You're so nice. Wish I could do mine that well. Thank you. It's Maybelline Stiletto. Um, they're like liquid liner. <clears throat> it's pretty awesome stuff, if you ask me. Like, I love it. It's amazing. I've been using it for like a really long time, for years at this point, like for real. So y'all, I think I'm ready to start like, okay, so this dough has to get chilled for like three hours, but I made some earlier this afternoon. And so um, we can make the dough on stream and then um, I can pull this stuff like and swap it basically in the fridge. So. Zeph thought ahead. I had a very busy day today. <laughs> and dough, exactly. I'm so excited. And a proper cooking show. Hi! I know, I'm your host, the pickled. I don't know. I need a nickname. I need a nickname. I look like I'm the cousin of my microphone because it's green screened. Wait, I wonder what would happen if I did this. That is the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life. I don't like this. <laughs> I do not like this. Not even a little bit. Oh no! This is nope. I, uh, no. <laughs> no! Exactly! No, I don't want this! Black jelly bean. Where? Fun shapes for the dough. Do I? Do I? Do I? That didn't have the effect that I wanted it to. Do I? <laughs> I couldn't hear and like you guys couldn't even see it. Do I? All right, we need to do some picking, but these are the shapes that I do have. I basically have every letter of the alphabet, every number. The zero and the O are like dual purpose and the six and the nine are also dual purpose too. Nice. Hearts, uh, Easter things, other kinds of shapes, Halloween, we got Christmas stuff, we got bears and ducks and dinosaurs and trophies and cowboy hats and gloves and stars and trains and all sorts of stuff. <gasps> you have the box of cutters. I know I found it. I found it on sale one day. I'm like, this is mine immediately. I need to have this. <laughs> it's a big set of cookie cutters. There's 101 of them. I was like, wow, that's craziness. But yeah, we have uh these little bad boys here um but let me see so hi cookie welcome on in we're making we're making gingerbread cookies today they are amazing nice tardis thank you it's our cookie jar <laughs> you need i know right we can kind of make one out of a heart miss <gasps> miss Wait, who did the, aw, dietitian, thank you for the 100 biddies. That's so nice of you. So y'all, I'm gonna gather like all of my ingredients, but I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Real good, cause I need like, it's 
some butter, which I had this like in the in the cabinet for the last few hours. So it can bring up to room temperature because it's calling for 10 tablespoons of unsalted butter, um, one egg at room temperature, which I have. I'll just move these in frame so you guys can see. Um, then I have brown sugar molasses, which I have everything over here. Brown sugar, unsulfured molasses. I love gingerbread. I'm so excited to get decorating these too. Um, the egg, vanilla, flour. How is everyone's day? It's a good Monday. Oh, this is Walmart butter, I think. I think. I think. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it is. Um, what else do we have? Molasses, egg, vanilla, flour, baking soda, salt. Salt, and then all my spices. This is a super easy recipe though. Hi, <laughs> thank you, Sparkles. I'm glad you like it. How you doing today? Kitchen, thank you. The subway tile backslash, right? I really wanna make it orange one day. Really bad, I really wanna do that. <laughs> <laughs> love the Dr. Who jar. Thank you. So we got ginger right here. Cinnamon. Allspice. And cloves, which I have right here as well. Got all these. Hi, Froggy. Hey. So you said sky. Lindsay wants some cookies. You're the first one to enter in the raffle. Thank you for your support. You guys are so cute. <laughs> I'll be picking two winners. Thank you, Lindsay. That's two entries. Also, when I uh, I didn't want to get it like all dirty and everything, um, I'm doing like a little pride rainbow thing as well. So all those subs will go on a rainbow too. But I didn't want to get like baked goods and crap all over it because it's in my kitchen. So I'll, I'll add them after stream. How many Dr. Who fans are here today? Right? I think like all of you guys probably. You're all coming out of the woodwork. I love it, Tawny. So this says in a large bowl. So I need to do, I'm going to grab my largest bowl here, guys. I like this one because it's really deep. Hi, Moss Jerrica! How are you? Nice! <laughs> Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. We're gonna make some cookies. Yeah, which Doctor Who do you prefer? Right? Now that's like the golden question from what I understand. Right? <clears throat> I haven't seen like any of that. I've seen like one. Like Christopher, Christopher Eccleston or something. This says, you need to beat that butter. Oh, not like that. Okay. I understand. 10 followed by 12, right? I hear that from a lot of people. <gasps> Wait, I forgot one thing. Oh my God. Hold on. <gasps> I forgot one special thing. Hold on a second.
Hello. Okay, we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, I muted it. And then it was like, I'm going to stay muted forever. But yeah, I forgot like the most special part of this entire thing. This is going to be really weird and difficult to try to like put on. So I'll have to like bear with me. <laughs> For a second. Uh, <laughs> I'm back. Hi, Tawny. Oh my God. I know. How dare I forget? Honestly, the worst. <laughs> A cross stitch work in progress of the TARDIS on the Discord Arts and Craft channel. Nice. I don't have a good way of looking at it right now, Cookie. That is perfect. Yes. Okay. I told you guys I bought it. Well, I showed, I did show you guys at one point. It's a Tammy pickle. Oh God. Could it have been worse? <laughs> I think not. There. Tied my apron. All right. Now we are good. Oh, nice. Sienna. Hi. Use that one like you, like you do in the Sims. See, it takes away from the pickleness, I think. Looks like I'm just wearing a weird green puffer vest thing. Like, how do I do this? <laughs> do I like... Hey! 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 I have figured it out. Oh my god. Oh shoot. I forgot it was... <laughs> I forgot it was that one! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> subs Katara I legit I'm like I'm not even joking I legitimately didn't even remember or realize that it was that one <laughs> it's been on that one for like a couple weeks now I think oh my god <laughs> thank you so much and um your name's on the raffle to win the cookies thank you so much for that Katara you're so nice I appreciate you have to do it again. Guitar is like, I gotta do it. <laughs> so hi, Bex. How are you? Welcome on in. Large bowl. Okay, so I have to beat the crap out of this butter. Okay, wait. I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. But I'm only a little bit sorry though. Bex, I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. Thank you, Francie. Or Francie, I really appreciate that. If this house is a, a flip. It's an old 1910 square, our uh, four square house. I'm doing good. How are you? How's work going? How's life? Y'all enjoying it? Oh, wait. That, that was only a stick. Hold on. I need to add. I'm, I'm like nailing this already, you guys. I need two more tablespoons. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine because it calls for 10 tablespoons and that was like eight. Hi, Iris. You're so cute. How are you? Welcome on in. Hope you guys are having a good day. Yes. Okay. Like I love all of these old houses too. I'm right there with you. Works good. Might have an, oh, might have another job. Nice. Got to figure out how to balance them. Nice. Nice. I hope they all, I hope they uh, treat you really well. 
oh, like, I love the old houses too, Cookie. You know that, though. I think y'all know. I'm, like, kind of like a, a little bit of a house nerd, if you will. If you shall. Um, okay, so I have to do brown sugar and molasses. If you guys want this recipe, by the way. Fairy! Thank you for that. You're so nice. <laughs> Um, 14 months, it's been a blink. You look amazing. I'm obsessed with the apron. It's everything I ever wanted. Thank you. Tammy appreciates this. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 14 months, though. I appreciate your generosity. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? We're baking some gingerbread cookies. Um, They're going to be gay as heck. So I'm very excited. Handheld mixer or stand mixer. Okay, no, I have a... Uh, brown sugar and molasses. So it means a three quarter cup of brown sugar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Automod, okay, Katara, Automod made that weird. <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it. Wish you could eat gingerbread cookies. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you not able to uh, due to like allergens or something? I made that weird. <laughs> no, Automod did. Katara could do nothing wrong. Um, we should have had a kitchen aid, a stand mixer, but a loss. I don't have no counter space, right? Like, I think once we get our island in here, probably in like a year or more, honestly, um, when we're ready to add, like redo the kitchen, um, and like add a count, add like the, the island thing. Um, we then I might have room for my KitchenAid because I have like an old vintage one that I'm honestly afraid of. Like Michael's sister-in-law gave it to me and I'm afraid of it. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Jesus frick. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Skyla, for the 200 biddies. That's so nice of you. Thank you. What the heck? Y'all are so nice to me. I can't. Thank you a lot. Jesus Christ, that scared me. <laughs> So this is three quarter cup, three quarters cup of uh, of brown sugar. I have light brown sugar because all they had before. I usually like dark brown sugar, but three quarter cup. Gonna just the and there you go. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Just add more molasses. I'm with you there, right? Got this. Okay. So the brown sugar, two thirds of a cup. So I have to do this. Or my unsulfured molasses. Right. Just add more molasses. Right. Technically, yeah. Are you, are you me? Seriously. Okay. Jump scaring by my own bit alerts is like my thing. It's, I'm like so jumpy sometimes. <laughs> All brown sugar, pl sugar plus molasses. Yes, it is. Yep. Um, so like the darker the brown sugar, the more molasses that's in the brown sugar. I love molasses. Oh, you got to call and miss the secret sound. I'm so sorry, Riot. I'm sorry. It's the three gifted sub. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have enough. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh no, I thought I had enough. I do not have enough. <laughs> I made a batch before. No, it's supposed to be two of these, Martin. Also, hi, Martin. We make it work. Uh-oh. I already, I made a batch earlier today, honey. Uh, I don't think honey will work. Oh, it's worse. Seriously, right, Martin? It's like I have half of what I need, DoorDash. Uh, <laughs> no, I completely forgot. Okay. I didn't forget. I, like, underestimated how much I actually had. Friday! Friday! Thank you so much for the 200 biddies. That's so nice. Hey, Celine, how are you? Right? Molasses substitutes. <laughs> um, substitutes for molasses to use in your holiday baking. Brown sugar, as we know. 
You can generally place one cup molasses with three quarter cup packed brown sugar. Dark brown sugar will have stronger molasses flavor than light brown sugar. Uh, molasses substitute granulated sugar and water. Hi, Tezza. How are you? <sighs> three quarter cup granulated sugar with a quarter cup water and replace in place of one cup of molasses. Dark corn syrup. I have light corn syrup, but I don't have dark. Maple syrup. <clears throat> it's good alternative for molasses too. You don't have to distinct molasses flavor, but maple syrup will add a similar sweetness and moisture. Oh my God. <laughs> Celine, <laughs> I know. Seriously, Naya, what do we do? I guess we just like let the world burn. Oh, there's honey. Honey is very similar texture to molasses. Uh, one cup. It's one cup to one cup is what it said. Even though it doesn't quite the caramel like flavor, it'll work in a pinch. Golden syrup. I don't have that. We just winged it. I know. <laughs> Google is my friend, right? Good thing I, I already have like the dough made in there. I made like another batch. So this is my second batch. So let's just experiment. Should I use maple syrup? I think I'm going to use maple syrup. I bet you this is going to be like a giant pain in the butt. So it, it says you won't get the distinct molasses flavor, but maple syrup will add similar sweetness and moisture. What's the ratio do we use? Because I have a third of a cup. I have half of what I need, so I need two-thirds cup of molasses, technically. Right? That's what I'm thinking, too. Molasses to maple syrup conversion. One cup for one cup. Okay. Okay. Um, definitely the maple syrup. <clears throat> okay, so I know that this is going to be the maple syrup batch now. But don't worry, I have real maple syrup. I don't have that cheap stuff. Well, I do have the cheap, nice stuff. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> but I do have real maple syrup, at least. <sighs> yeah, molasses is a lot. Yeah, molasses is a lot thicker. You're right. It is. Okay, beans, don't worry. We wing it. I thought that was going to be enough. Oh, no. I thought about going to the store to get some more earlier because I made the other batch, but we're good. It's okay. What did, what did we do without Google? Like, what is the weirdest thing that you've ever had to substitute before? Do you guys have any stories of anything or anything like that you thought worked better than like the initial, like the real or the the real ingredient? I've made so many molasses cookies lately. <laughs> Right? If exactly. Like I have half molasses. It'll be a little bit better. It'll be, it'll be like nicer. Can only go work out. Exactly. So two thirds cup. So then this is the second one. This feels so like wrong. Oh my God. <laughs> always more cinnamon and vanilla in any recipe. Yes. Like I've always done that too. Yep, I have good. I have the good syrup too. It's like the great value brand, but it's still good. It's like the real maple, maple syrup, and not like just pure corn syrup or corn whatever. Um, add coffee. Yes, adding coffee to like any chocolate good is just incredible. I'm a thousand percent with you. I know, right? I think it'll still taste amazing. I'm with you. Always add coffee to chocolate cake. Yes. Yeah, I usually do that in place of water. Like completely in place of water. <clears throat> I love it. Oh, it still smells delicious. Don't worry, guys. Most recipes that call for mayo, just use sour cream because I'm a mayo fan. It makes my stuff with spinach dip so much better, right? Oh, I love that. I love using like a little bit of cream cheese as well. Like cream cheese is wonderful. The recipe doesn't tell you much chocolate chips to put in your heart. Tells you much. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. I'm a thousand percent with you there too, Cookie. Like you measure chocolate chips with your heart. That is the most accurate thing. I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Yogurt in banana bread. I've heard uh, Hey, Nancy, how are you? Get your blood work done today. Hopefully you'll hear about the doc in the next step soon. Fingers crossed, Nancy, that everything gets all ironed out for you. 
house stuff is always scary. <gasps> what smell of it? And I smell the cookie smell. <laughs> Tawny. I made like the other, uh, the other batch earlier today, and it was so good. Mayo to cake mix and it sounds like a cake and it keeps it moist. Ooh. Mayonnaise is like the unsung hero. Like, do you add it in place of like an oil or anything like that? Or like the egg? Or what do you what do you do? But yeah, whenever I make brownies, I always do coffee instead of water. It makes it like richer and like more dense. Butter or mayo people for grilled cheese. I like butter. I've had the mayo and I think it's pretty good, but I prefer the butter, like salted butter. I'm kind of a purist on that one. Vinegar and baking soda instead of eggs to cake batter if I ran on the eggs. Yeah, see? Freaking science, man. Isn't it awesome, Kaya? I love that. This is looking pretty good. I always like, I, I'm not like skilled enough to like go on the sides. <laughs> my my arms aren't strong enough to like scrape it at the same time. So I do it really slowly. <laughs> Putting in cake mixes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've heard of that before. A little more new normal recipe and this sits out and remains nice. Oh, nice. That's good to know. Also, hi, Missy. How are you? Oh, Siri is allergic to eggs. Um, applesauce pop and eventually tried the vegan mayo. Applesauce is a great sub. Yeah, I've seen the... Um, I've seen, like, what do I want to call it? <sighs> applesauce. In place of, like, certain things in recipes like that. <gasps> the secretary's up. Oh! <laughs> Here I am wearing a Tammy apron and a pickle suit, all sorts of wild stuff. Not me having like a little bit of molasses in here wanting to put it in the recipe, but it's like enough to mess it up. It's like a teaspoon maybe. <laughs> Flax seed instead of eggs. I have heard of that one. I have. <clears throat> uh, sugar and molasses and beta medium high until combined and creamy looking. Scrape down size and add bottom of bowl as needed. So I'm going to like keep whipping this just a little bit just to like work out some of that sugar just for a little while. Flax. I love adding flax seed to oatmeal and stuff and like hemp seed and stuff. I always forget that I have it. Dry cake mix, dry pudding mix, coffee and some eggs and like alcohol and uh, makes a great cake. Interesting, right? That's a true, like, I had this in the pantry, so I threw it together and saw what happened kind of thing, you know? But it feels good, exactly. <laughs> Friends of kids used to love my mom's baking better than anyone else's bakeries. Seriously, right? Like, my mom's baking is pretty stellar, too. Like, I learned the most from my dad. If there's anyone who, like taught you the most about baking or anything like that who was it or was it yourself are you like a self-taught kind of person post what before banana one of the other ones for eggs that's so weird you know sometimes the mod settings have like lately riot have been really crazy hey midnight welcome on in i hope you're having a good day you guys do exclamation point i think it's raffle r-a-f-f -F L E is that how you spell it? Um yeah, I think it's Yeah, that one. Um if you want to I don't need all these cookies in the house, y'all. Um if you guys would like to try to win these cookies, Katara and Lindsay have already entered. Fun way to support the community if you can and want to and get some pasty cookies it's US only because um Customs are dumb, and they won't let me send things across the border. My mom taught me I had a special interest for baking like three years of my childhood. Nice. Special interest for baking. Nice. What's your favorite thing to make, Midnight? <laughs> yeah, three is the secret sound. You got it. So it says scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl needed. Beat in egg and vanilla on high speed. Okay, so we need a teaspoon of pure vanilla. So 
half teaspoon. Where's my full teaspoon? Did I put it in here? Here it is. Hello there. Little teaspoon of vanilla. Teaspoon of vanilla. So I got this little guy. So two teaspoons, right? <laughs> Eva, how are you? Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Monday. It's a teaspoon. Look at how beautiful that is. Teaspoon. Where am I at? Yep, just double checking. Okay, I got my vanilla. I They were out of the Watkins vanilla when I got this vanilla, and I was really sad because I really like Watkins vanilla a lot. A Richard apron. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, Beth, how are you? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. I appreciate ya. Hope you're having a beautiful Monday. So it says, then add the egg. This is going to separate a little bit, but it'll be okay. We will be fine. <clears throat> we do need a Richard apron. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. I did make like the original batch of these because this has to chill for three hours. And I wanted to get decorating these later. So I'm excited. Was having my support staff in my classroom with some deep trouble. So I'm here. Not really uh, here while I try to figure this out. I just want to pop in and say hello. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Eva, whatever it is. I'm here to listen to you if you need. You know that. I'm so sorry about that. I hope whatever this situation is that it gets better, though. I hope everything's okay. Once betrayed by Vanilla Extract, I was making cookies at school for a cooking club, and I didn't know that Vanilla Extract was actually super bitter. Right? Like the measuring when I'm dumping it. Yes! Yes! Yeah, it, it, it smells like betrayal. If betrayal had a smell, it would smell like vanilla, I think, personally. Um, it smells wonderful and delicious and amazing, but it's just like pure alcohol because that bakes off or cooks off. And then like vanilla, <laughs> like terrible. The trade is not a good word. I was more like a rude awakening. You're like, ugh. <laughs> I felt that though. All right, this is looking really good. Not bad. Okay. Oh, seriously. Okay, it tastes like you licked a candle. Do you like candles? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, Cookie, have you ever licked a candle? What does a candle taste like? Vanilla, according to Tawny. Nobody imagine it tastes that. <laughs> oh my god, that kills me. <sighs> oh, so scrape down the sides. Okay, so we beat the crap out of that. I feel like I'm going to beat it a little bit more, though. I'm going to go for it. It's still looking amazing. It still smells amazing. The texture is really good. <clears throat> so even with the whole like molasses predicament, we're still doing okay. When the wax fell in your hand, I was like instinct. Seriously, okay, I do that all the time. Like, like I'm trying not to lick this, obviously, because like there's uh, these cookies will be sent out to somebody. <laughs> But like my instinct whenever I have anything on my fingers is to like straight up lick it or something. Okay. This is looking really smooth and fluffy. My logic uh, smells good but doesn't taste good. I don't know, made it sense before I said it. <laughs> uh, it made me laugh though. I love it. 
um, in a separate bowl with the flour, baking soda, salt, ginger, cinnamon, allspice, and cloves together until combined. So we're going to move these babies over here. And then I'm going to get my booty moving here with this. So we have... <clears throat> gonna move that over okay so I'm gonna like rinse off my hands because I've got like a bunch of like sticky sugar molasses and all that kind of stuff all over it I also want to like wipe off the molasses sticky stuff that's all over my like workstation here because of this <laughs> and my spatula right? Makes perfect sense to me. I think it makes sense too. You know, it's like, you know, like something just tastes bad by smelling it. You don't have to taste it to know. Um, holidays, I always do a bunch of baking and it's so hard to seriously, right? Like I just want to lick everything so bad. My pickle dots look really inappropriate. Which where, which pickle dots are you talking like, oh no. <laughs> I will never be able to unsee that. I hate it here. I hate it here. <laughs> it's like when you lay on your side with without a bra, like you're wearing a tank top. And then you like <laughs> tuck the side. <laughs> the same energy. Hey, thank you, Brittany. I really appreciate you. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. <sighs> that is the vibe that this is giving Katar. I'm with you. <laughs> Abandoned shit! <laughs> oh, okay, so flour. Here we are. I have my cute little crock full of flour. Pawnee. <laughs> that I made you laugh, though. <laughs> I'm good. God, I'm so glad. Uh, yes, yeah, see, like you can, you can still have, you can still be family friendly and have fun. You can totally do it. I'm with you. Here we are, flour. So I need to do three and a half cups of flour. I hate like mixing the dry ingredients into the wet. It's so messy and like it hurts my arm. <laughs> it's such a pain in the butt. But if you're ever baking, by the way, um, spoon or spooning like this, and then um, taking a level, which is like usually a butter knife, is important rather than just scooping. Because flour measures that way. Like I was always taught to tap, go back and forth, go like this. And like that. You can mess up the ratios. Weighing. Yes, weighing is honestly the way to go. I'm with you. Um, and then I always sift everything because I'm just that kind of person. You can also get like a little hand crank sift. But weighing is honestly like the way to do it though. Rather than by volume like this. And then see. Like I always like to sift because then you don't get like all those little chunkies. And there it's going to be a lot smoother and easier to blend. So you don't have like, you bite into a cookie and then you have like a huge thing of flour. Right? My mom, my mom totally has one of those as well. <laughs> she does. I love it. So I'm the kind of person to actually, um, uh, sift all of my dry ingredients. <clears throat> I'm that kind of person. Oh, oh, it was your grandma and grandpa's. I love that. So much love and uh, so many memories. You always want to go front and then back like that. Yeah, weighing ingredients is kind of like the foolproof way of doing it, in my opinion. Yeah, see. This will just make it so much easier to blend. You can push it right through. And then there you go. And it's like so light and fluffy. So that was two. I need one more cup. 
<clears throat> uh, baking is one of my best when you're learning lots of tips and tricks. Nice, Brittany. I like that. Baking is definitely like detailed, like very much so. Like you have to be very precise with all the measuring. It's it's chemistry, quite literally. Baking is it, it is definitely a science. Here we go. Got a beautiful leveled cup of flour. Also, your boyfriend is moving. Oh, Nancy, that's exciting. Congratulations. Look at you. I am just running a fork through it. Yeah, that, that works too. Especially if you don't have like a flour sifter like this or like a little wire strainer. That's valid as well. Look at you go moving in together it's a big step it's amazing and then i need a half cup okay so that was three and now i am moving on to my half cooking is basically experimental but baking you can literally just experiment with the flavors exactly pretty much because your ratios have to be there like it's it's very precise like you had too much flour weird things happen you had too much butter weird things happen yeah, cooking is a lot more forgiving in my opinion. There we go. There's my little half cup. Sift that baby out. Can see I got my little chunkies. Just push them through. I'm going to go ahead and move my flour on out of the way. Oh, you have to go get moving boxes tomorrow. Ooh, I recommend Walmart. Home Depot's boxes are terrible. Um, in my humble opinion. In my humble opinion. Okay, this is my teaspoon. Have vanilla on it. I think I need teaspoon. Oh, I have a half teaspoon. Okay. Oh, here. No. Good tip. Yes. Apple boxes. Yeah. Apple boxes at grocery stores are also awesome. I agree. Walmart has like three different sizes and like two different kind of, um, uh, like they have like heavy duty and regular rigidity two different kinds of rigidity. So this takes, uh, so I have my flour in here and then I need my baking soda, which is one teaspoon of baking soda. Just kind of get that as leveled up as possible. Baking soda is always so crumbly and chunky. Floof powder. He said love to floof powder. Hi Kaya. How are you by the way? How are you? I just push it right through so it's all nice and fluffy in there. And I can put this away over here. Okay. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Okay. So we have ginger. <clears throat> So it says one tablespoon of ginger. I love ginger. Like ginger is amazing. Oh, okay. So one tablespoon. So this is a half tablespoon because my regular tablespoon won't fit into these jars. And a certain thing about like, you know, just the nature of ginger, it's pretty stringy. And, uh... So I always like to run it through a sifter too. One tablespoon of the ginger. I love this so much. I love ginger. I'm such a sucker for spice cookies. Okay, that's pretty good. So ginger can also have like hard chunks, you know? And I'll show you in a second. Clove, it's a little less important with because you're going to have like the clove seed and stuff, but ginger is kind of gritty. And I always like to sift it to kind of 
make it a little more even. So you can see right there, ginger, that's dried ginger, and then they grind it up to the powder. And those are just like little tiny like ginger crystals, essentially. So I always like to get rid of those. That's my preference. Some people just go with it, which is okay. That's totally valid. I'm just very like OCD about it <laughs> in that way. But that was my ginger. So that was one tablespoon of ginger. And then I can move that off to the side. Then we have one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Need a Tammy apron. Nice. It's in the merch store too, if you didn't know. I don't know what shipping outside of the United States is like. One half tablespoon. And here we go. It's pretty close. Pretty gosh darn close. I know I love cinnamon too, Brittany. I'm with you. I also like these little spice jars. They're super cute. Very cute. Let's go ahead and sift that cinnamon. So cinnamon also, you know, these are ground up spices. Like this one, I try not to be a little bit or like as nitpicky with, but you can see this one also has like a little bit of particles and stuff. But I just find that personally, don't get those weird like random crunchy bits and stuff. Tammy! You're right! I know, I'm so excited! I love my Tammy apron. <gasps> nerd part I'm so happy for you so okay we're gonna do a half teaspoon of ground cloves this is a, a teaspoon and a half teaspoon right here there's no guy cloves are so like delicious smelling I love them they're so amazing. They're so like woodsy. Okay, so this is that uh, half teaspoon. And the color is just gorgeous. It's so dark. Like, I don't know about you, but I like pickled beets. I'm very weird about that. <laughs> and then cloves are literally like, you can see there's clove seed right there and all that again not something that like you really have to do but it's something that I, I was taught to do and I like to do it it's probably just a little I, I admit it's probably a little too over the top um allspice and then clove so that we've got the allspice left teaspoon of allspice. I enjoyed my afternoon though. I made um, just a different batch of these too because um, this has to chill for like three hours. So to get ahead of ourselves I actually just went ahead and I um, I put it all together. Ooh, then you whisk it all together. All these beautiful ingredients. Oh, and it smells so good in here. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to preemptively preheat my oven. I think I should be fine. So preheat 350. Because I have the other cookies. Um in the fridge that'll be ready to be like rolled out and then I'm gonna need your guys's help with deciding what to uh hey I miss you of course I did hey <laughs> yeah um I'm gonna need your guys's help to pick out which cookie cutters we want to use right so far I think we have Lindsay and Katara that were so sweet and entered themselves into the raffle too that's so funny. So Lindsay has two, and then Katar, I think, has one. <laughs> it's good. Hello, nerd. Welcome on in. 
Hello, Eva. A Benjamin one? I can make a Benjamin one. I think I'm going to go ahead and make it. Hi, Huntress. How are you? Welcome on in. So glad to see ya. So, in a separate bowl with the flour, baking soda, salt. Oops, I forgot the salt. Hello. Hello, I forgot my salt. Half teaspoon. It's fine. We can get this one going. Forgot about it. I always like to do my salt on the side. Um, Cause then you don't like spill it and then do too much salt, which would be very unfortunate <laughs> in my opinion. Cause see, I actually spilled a little bit of the salt. Cause like I'm getting to the end of my little bottle. Then I have a whole bunch. By the kitty booty but every time oh right seriously riot i honestly i really i had a kitty booty but then we accidentally put it through the dishwasher without thinking about it and then it melted and it was very sad <laughs> hey loving how are you welcome on in thank you i really hope you're having a good day what's popping so i'm just like putting in that like incorporating that salt into here <clears throat> I'm also going to do a mini cleanup by putting all of these gingerbread dino need to be a thing. Yes, it's going to happen because I do have dino cookie cutters, actually, nerd. That's a really good, um, a really good one um, to suggest. There we go. I got my spices put away. They're all alphabetized. That makes me very excited. <laughs> His kitty booty, so it's a cat butt. Um, uh, a cat butt thing, cookie cutter. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like that, like a little butthole and everything, like a little X for a butt. It's pretty wonderful. Uh, if I do say so myself. Hey, Danielle, how are you? Welcome on in. <laughs> yes, Erica, you were you were definitely promised gay gingerbread cookies. Welcome. I hope you're having a good day. All right, so now I need to start putting in, I'm going to double check myself. Uh, yes. Okay, so I did everything, and then now I need to go ahead and start adding my dry into the wet. You always want to do dry into wet. I sift it twice because I'm probably overkill as heck. So, yeah. <laughs> Love my apron. Thank you, Danielle. It's a Tammy apron. It's on the merch store. It's actually pretty nice quality too. I was, I was kind of surprised. I'm like, oh, okay. I wasn't expecting a lot. <laughs> um, so we're going to mix. I usually do about a, a cup to a half a cup, maybe a little more at a time. In here. So I thought, oh my geez. Ah, good. Welcome on in. Thank you for the raid. Hello, hello. Can we get a shout out for good? What is happening? Hello, Jada, Lone Wolf. What's going on? Shamaya, how was your stream? Seth, welcome. Tell us about yourself. Thank you, Jess. Hey, good. Looks like you guys were cooking something up too. What were you doing? What's happening? We are making the gayest gingerbread cookies. Hey, thank you. So nice to meet you. My name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. We are a family-friendly, um, Sims-centric community that sometimes breaks off and we do coloring, we do artwork, we do uh, co-working. We also do um, baking and cooking and stuff. Welcome. <gasps> Some bread and shrimp. Ooh, that's so good. I like that. <laughs> Amazing. So what kind of bread? <clears throat> I made homemade um, pretzel rolls last night. Oh, sourdough. So good. I like that. Uh, some bread and shrimps awesome. for dinner. Yeah, I'll take that too. Is it Shiame or Shiama? How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. Thank you so much for coming along with us. I appreciate that. Old starter. Oh, that's so sweet. I really like that. That's so special amazing very awesome i'm dressed up as a pickle 
Um, if that doesn't say anything about our community, then I don't know what does. <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. I have a cake recipe that I like using on my grandmother's. So good. So good. <laughs> we were just talking a little bit ago. If you are someone who enjoys yourself in the kitchen, um, what kind of things do you, or who taught you? Are you like self-taught? Is there like a lot? my god <laughs> thank you so much for the three gifted subs holy crap katara <laughs> and Lily, thank you for the follow how the heck are you welcome to bean garden um you have to give the raiders no uh the sound no more though because i'm out of money oh katara <laughs> thank you so much so we are also doing a cookie raffle as well um, if you so choose to support the community in that kind of way, there's many ways of to support. But if you choose to gift any subs, there's increments in this corner here that enter your name into the raffle. Um, and I'll send them to you. U.S. only, unfortunately, because customs are a jerk. Um, these are gingerbread cookies. <laughs> You'll get the ones that I'm making here on stream. Thank you so much, though. <laughs> I know, right? The way that it became more and more unhinged, it really did, didn't it? It's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, if you are someone who enjoys, you know, um, cooking something up in the kitchen, baking, whatever, who taught you? Are you self-taught? Is there like a loved one or like a friend that kind of influenced you? Mine was like my dad and my parents. Plus... My love language is acts of service. So I like to make things for people. I love it. It's like one of my favorite things. Um, got my stickers yesterday. Yay! Tessa, I'm so excited. Thank you for letting me know you got them too. My nan for sure with the baking, right? That's awesome. Love to bake with a cool way to make money at it without having to keep a million baked goods, right? <laughs> Y'all are so nice though. Like, I am full-time, and I am incredibly grateful for every single moment and opportunity that we have here as a community together. So, thank you all so much. I mean that. <gasps> Instinct. Hi, you said your grandmother, she baked the best cakes. Oh, that's so sweet. What was your favorite flavor that she did? Bake cookies, but I don't want to clean the kitchen. Yes, seriously. Honestly. <laughs> Nerd fart! <laughs> I feel that with every ounce of my soul. My kitchen was a little bit dirty this morning, and it was a struggle for me to get started so I could, like, bake, get ready for stream, everything, you know. I got it. <laughs> Love to make things with my friends, but I also stress that they won't, may, uh, won't like. Seriously, okay, I feel that. We're going to, like, find something that sounds tasty and then do the tarnish to make it. That's always fun, too. You're like, that's a good way to kind of get your feet wet and, like, get do something a little different. Oh, if you guys got gifted a sub, by the way, congratulations. I really, truly hope that you like your emotes. Thank you for being here, spending time with me. 
I'm in a, I'm a mood. I feel that to the core. Yeah. I feel that to the core. Be like, I want to do the thing. But like, first I have to do that thing. And then I don't want to do that thing. So then you just don't. <laughs> and it's the worst feeling in the entire world. <laughs> Your go-to gifts for my new friend's birthday is cookies. Yes. Oh my God. Wait, Erica. That's big brain. You have a spreadsheet full of everyone's favorite kinds of cookies. I feel like I'm like lacking. I found dump cakes and I got adventurous, made my own recipes with stuff I like. Ooh, what's your favorite like go-to recipe, Jess? <clears throat> what's your favorite? Cleaning is the worst part of baking. It is. Um, I don't know how I did it before I had like a, a dishwasher though. I have no idea. Um, like I just wanted to die and not bake. That's probably why I bake way more is because I actually have a dishwasher now. <clears throat> oh, you're, you bake and hubby washes dishes, right? <laughs> I usually like request that Michael stays out of my way. <laughs> I'm that kind of person and I feel really bad about it. <laughs> Have you said I have a chocolate cinnamon cupcake? That sounds so good. They're like more like brownies. They're different involved folding and egg wise. They're a bit of a pain. <gasps> I've made a French silk pie before that like, you know, it's so good, but it's such a pain in the butt to make. I usually make them like either for my boyfriend and I's anniversary or um my boyfriend's birthday. I like the two things that I like the most, making them the most for. <laughs> Seriously, Annie, this recipe is so good. So good. Um, I just remember, I found a, I found a recipe where you temper the eggs because Michael's dad um, has a heart transplant, so he can't have things like raw eggs, you know, stuff like that. And usually French silk pie has raw eggs, but I found a recipe where I temper the eggs. And he had the chance to have some. And I quote, um, holy shiitake mushrooms. <laughs> oh, and I felt like I won right there because I made it for, I think, Michael's birthday. And then I got to share it with his family. Oh, you said you bake much more than you used to. And I really love it. My ex didn't allow me to bake. He was toxic in many ways. Aw. I'm so glad that you're doing things for you, though. <gasps> you think he just finished your pride shell? Shut the heck up. That's amazing. <gasps> if you guys like The Sims, by the way, and I know we're, like, streaming in a different category, but we usually stream The Sims. That's, like, our thing. Um, we have a shell challenge that we're doing, and it's pride-themed. Um, because if you're here, you're gay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, it's like, oh, it's like, it's like a bad, like, line. Like, what is it? Uh, if you hear your family, isn't it like Applebee's or whatever the heck it is? Which restaurant's, like, catchphrase or slogan is that? Because if you hear you gay, that's us now. It's the bean garden. Yeah, so I host shell challenges every month. We've got one due a little later this month. Today's, what, the 6th or the 7th? The 6th, I think instinct you said instinct can you repeat your message because i can't i wanted to read it comfort food something because my hands are all full of this olive garden is like because if you hear your family right <laughs> right it's the six thank you katara that's what it's all about yes exactly that's it nerd that's what you're doing baby if you hear your family you hear you gay uh, nowadays only a father bakes these make a wonderful bread with lightly sweetened and a go-to comfort food of mine oh that's so sweet my I wanna so I've been like trying to get better and better at bread like I can do pastries like pop pie crust quite well but um because like basically with with pastries because they're so light and flaky and fluffy they have that you want to make sure that you um like don't you barely mix it you want to leave your chunks of butter you don't want to like get your butter all melted together or like whatever fat that you choose to use like crisco or something like that or shortening um with bread you need to beat the 
living daylights out of that thing. <laughs> so the last time, like for, I think for like Thanksgiving last year, 2021, I tried to make uh, dinner rolls for the first time from scratch on Thanksgiving, I know, <laughs> like on the meal day. Because it was just my parents, though, and my brothers. But, like, um, yeah. I needed to beat the crap out of it. Or, like, need the heck out of it. So, that's kind of it. <clears throat> um, You said that you bake a lot of banana bread because whenever someone comes to visit, they always buy a bunch of bananas. And then never finish the bananas, right? My mom makes a dang good banana bread. Like, holy shnikes. Does she ever make a good banana bread? The, oh, some of the best bread I ever had, right? Like, my dad makes these really good honey, like, clover rolls. And I want to ask him. That's where I was going with that story, by the way, with the whole, like, bread. <laughs> I want to ask him how to make it. Because I remember, like, helping him. But he always did, like, all the arm work and, like, all the heavy lifting for it. But, yeah, like, I really want to do that. Gonna do a mini cleanup here, by the way, Beans, real quick, just so I can clean up my workspace. Because <clears throat> we are gonna lay this stuff out and I'm gonna put it in the fridge, is what we're gonna do. That is so sweet, though, nerd. I love that. So this is very crumbly, but it's very sticky. So this dough has to sit in the fridge for three hours, at least, at the very least. So I baked some, or I made some ahead of time. Um, so rest assured, a three hour tour, woo! right? Just us hanging out in my kitchen together for three hours. Wouldn't that be something? I mean, I like you guys, but also, like, my feet would not like that. I really want to, like, lick this bowl, y'all. Islanders ride bread. Oh, wait, that sounds really good. Whatever that is. I I like rye, though. How do you like your rye, Kema? Do you, do you have it, like, plain, or do you toast it with some butter or whatever? So I've been balling this up. Like the bowl I wanna. It smells so good. You guys have no idea. Especially if you like gingerbread cookies. Just saying. It's pretty amazing. Um, all right. This is like almost gone. Just as butter or fried on the fireplace. Nice. That sounds amazing. But I do like rye a lot. I actually really like Reuben sandwiches a lot too. <clears throat> it's one of my faves. Okay, so we have to break this in two. So I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm just going to like pinch it in half to the best of my abilities and hope for the best. Um, I feel like this one's like a little bit bigger. It's a lot bigger. Hello. Just pinch some of that. There we go. That'll do. All right. So what we need to do is I have saran wrap right here because you can't really see it. So you put it in here and then you put it into a disc because this is going to be pretty hard when it comes out of the fridge and this is going to make it a lot more, it's actually going to chill faster as well and more evenly. It's going to be a lot easier instead of like putting it in a ball and then doing it, this is going to be so much easier to handle and to roll out because it's already flat. So you just kind of like push it and move it around. Um, I want to cut this. So we have our little disc and then I fold it. Sourdough is a mood. I know I've never made sourdough before. The wonderful human who rated us earlier, Good, it looks like I think is how you pronounce their name. They actually said they made like shrimp and sourdough. And like, I was like, oh my God, I want to try. I want to do it. 
So we have our little disc. It's not very round, but it'll do. So I'm going to put this right over here. And then we're going to get another little thing here. You love sourdough so much. Really? Do you like toasting it or how do you like doing it? Or how do you like eating it? Oh, no, this is too much. Whoops. That's my bad. Let's see. That's all right. I'm almost out of this anyhow. So I'm putting the dough all up in my hands. Oh yeah, this is so much smaller, but it's fine. It smells amazing, you guys. If you like spice cookies. Are we naming the cookie dough? Ooh, what about Marv and Denise? Because there's two of them. I think Marv and Denise, well, they need to go in for a nap. Cookie, I'm with you. All right, so we have our cozy little cookie disc. I'm gonna fold it on up on the sides. Release some of the air. Toasting it for sandwich or dunking for soups. Oh, really? So we just eat bread when I'm a funk, so just sourdough is so good. I like that. So we have two relatively, oh, that's actually not bad. They're really, they're quite uniform. Look at how, like, even those look. Not bad, Zeph, if I don't say so myself. Um, Marv and Denise can be a couple. Uh, so, right? I know this is, we're supposed to be doing, like, baking gay cookies here. So I'm with you. It smells so good, you guys. Ugh. So good. I'm also going to fill this with water really quick too and wash my hands again you girls wash your hands like six times during this entire thing <laughs> Aww. this is so nice look at my little fingers thank god hot water melting all the butteriness away so i'm gonna let that fill up a little bit LGBT people, right? LGBT plus cookies. Yes. Hi, lady. How are you? You certainly did hear cookies. How you doing today? I hope you're having a good one. Marvin Harry. I like Marvin Harry. Is Marv Harry? <laughs> I mean, could be. Should be. All right, now that I have that kind of soaking full of water over there, I am going to go put these in the fridge for a nap. Oh, walk on Old Vegas all morning and afternoon. That's crazy, right? Especially if your body's like not used to it. Like mine, mine would revolt very much. Like a lot. <laughs> okay. I actually want to do a quick color comparison between these two because it's a little bit dar darker, but not much. This one is the full molasses. This one's half molasses. All right. You can see. So this is the good stuff here. It's all hard. It's been in the fridge since like noon or something like that. Like I freaking love it. My cookie dough, y'all. Says to take one out at a time. So, because the other one has to stay in there for a bit. Right? I know I'm sure it'll taste just fine. <laughs> Same. Um, so this actually says <sighs> allow cookies for to cool them for five minutes. Wait, okay, wait, I'm too far ahead. Let me go ahead and go down a little bit or up a little bit. Um, it says in a separate bowl, blah, 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 preheat oven. Cool. Um, remove one disc of chilled cookie dough from the refrigerator. Generously flour work surface as well as your hands in the rolling pin. Roll out disc into a quarter inch thick. Hits for rolling. The dough may crack and be crumbly as you roll. That's helpful as picking it up and rotating it as you go. Additionally, you can use your fingers to help meld the cracking edges back together. First few rolls are always the hardest since the dough is so stiff, but re-rolling the scraps is much easier. Cut into shapes. Okay. 
So this is going to be a tricky dough. <clears throat> Real forensics anthropologists that so they work for LVPD. Oh my god, wait, that's so cool. <gasps> what? Okay, beans. We have to pick cookie cutters. And I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> like, hmm. Okay, so we've got like a bunch of shapes. There's too many to go through, I think. Dinos, dinos, dinos. Okay, Eva says dinosaurs. Oh, wait. What if we did like this? Oh, my God. It's like a star. Like a shooting star thing. <gasps> Holy shnikes. That's huge. <laughs> That's so big. Look at how big these are. Oh, my God. So I'm going to look for the dinosaur. Oh, I found a dinosaur. Here we go. Okay. So we got this. I found an airplane. I'll do a dino on an airplane. And then let's show here. Because I agree. Wait. Okay. This one's better. This one's bigger. Okay. So I got every letter of the alphabet. And we have like some like holiday things. So you can see there's like Valentine's Day with hearts. There's like Easter. I feel like we need some hearts. For sure. Right? Like I feel like that's just the move. Can I have a ghost? Right? <laughs> I think a ghost here. What is that? Is that a witch? Or a bat? Oh, that's a bat. Okay, hello. <laughs> I feel like we do need hearts, though. Um. Oh, there's like two little hearts together. I want like a medium-sized one. <gasps> there's a moon. <gasps> there's a moon. Okay, let's take some of these out. There's even like a spooky castle thing. A bunch of letters. What are those? Did my mother do this? I bet you she did. Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> um, There's some like other utensils here. Is there a frog? A gay frog, right? Like a gay frog? I'm with you. I think that would be the best personally. <gasps> okay, the heart. Here we go. So we have an airplane, a dinosaur, a heart, and so I'm thinking of, like, a ghost. What's that? Oh, it's a cat. Okay. Guys, I know my shapes. I swear. This is the ghost. Okay. Um, dog bone. Ooh, a dog bone would be really fun, wouldn't it, Sienna? A goat. <laughs> Not a ghost, but a goat. Just a goat. That's it. Um, oh my god, we have another dinosaur! We, we've got two dinosaurs. Okay, I'm very excited. I want all the dinosaurs. Not really. But like, what if we did... Oh, it's a dog. Right? That's a dog. Looks like a dog. Oh my god, a duck! Also Wait, a duck! I'm in support. How the heck are you? Welcome to the Bean Garden. What's going on? How you doing? Petition for a gnome cookie? I don't think they have a gnome. I did find the dog bone, though. All right. So, like... <gasps> Wait, the star? Oh, God. There's so many cute freaking shapes. I can't... Okay, maybe I will do, like, this medium-sized star, too. That one looks pretty fun to me. A Tammy gnome. <laughs> okay, but that would be just the worst thing. It would be so cursed. I hate it here so much. Oh, wait. Shoot. Yeah, there's, like, a whole bunch of utensils that were, like, in this bag. They're clean and everything, but, you know. I think my mom put them in there. Huntress, yay! You got gifted a sub. I'm so excited for you. Look at you. I know. You guys are so nice. Thank you. Look at y'all. Okay, so to prepare one of these next steps, I'm going to grab some of my cookie sheets, and then we're going to line these with the parchment paper. You were doing laundry? Nice. How's laundry going? I hope it's going good. <clears throat> oh, 
where's my parchment paper? Okay, here it is. Don't worry. <sighs> Not me just having a mini heart attack thinking that I was out of parchment paper. Oh, it was a bunch of towels. Oh, that's not that bad, though. Oh, you need to do your laundry, right? Like, I think I have some in the dryer right now. Michael's my folder. I usually do everything else. Okay. Got this pan. And this one. And boom! I'll put these over here for now. Or no, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so I need to flower this wonderful workspace right in here. So it's to flower generously. Okay, that looks pretty generous to me. Woo, here we go. So I need to also flower this up. This is totally going to stick to this rolling pin. I know it. Kitchen cabinets. Oh, your house growing up and all nostalgic now. Yay. I love that nerd fart. <laughs> That's so cute. I know they did a good job remodeling this kitchen. Like the people who we bought it from. Not bad. I like it. I am still pretty salty that they like painted over the brick in there though. Like, I hope they stub their pinky toe for doing that. That's my opinion. Mostly because my image of this, uh, this kitchen is a little different. Wait, hello. I need to open this. Why can't I split it? There we go. I had to, like, tear it open because I couldn't find the edge. Just made it work for me. Okay, so it says, I need to roll this out into a quarter inch. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Because this is very hard. Okay, now that I have like a little bit. <gasps> I know, I'm so excited for the dinos. Very excited. Same lo mein. We're going to do some decorating on stream too, by the way, in case y'all didn't know. It said that this will crack, so we just got to like deal with it as it comes pretty much and like try to push it back together. Because it's kind of a drier, like, cookie. Gingerbread cookies are, like, in a way. Bakes a lot of cookies is a cool thing. He sets the height of his rolling pins. I know. I want one of those so bad. Because, like, I this is the part that I suck at the most is making it all even. This is the hardest part, I think. Like, I really want one of those so bad. I should just get one. Because they're just, like, they're really nice, like, plastic rolling pins that, like... How do I want to put it? Yeah, they're nice plastic rolling pins. And they uh, they come with like little like things that are on the edge. So your dad's like the baker. That's the cutest thing. I love that. My dad, like growing up, we always joked. Like we called him like Chef Gordon Ramsay. Because <laughs> he was always very like directional on... Um, like what to do in baking, but he, he knew what he was doing. My mom's a great baker too, though. But I remember um, having those conversations with like dad and learning a lot. Oh, you have two on your list, right? Yeah, I think I have one on my list too, like as well. Um, okay, what should I do first? Should I do dinosaur? I'm thinking that this dinosaur is going to be first. We're going to put him here because he looks pretty good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Look at how cute he is. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to put him over here. So one thing that I'm going to do as well, before we actually bake these, I'm going to put them 
in um how do I want to say uh the fridge for just a little while longer again oh your dad is kind of a terrible cook on <laughs> my dad truly knows like a little bit of everything honestly he really does um he knows how to sew he knows how to do your electrical <laughs> franklin the dinosaur should we make him his partner we got a stegosaurus stanley the stegosaurus <clears throat> i think they're gonna be fun he tries though oh that, that's, that's the point right i think that's good that's a good try Stanley the Stegosaurus. I love it. So you need to make sure there's not like a lot of flour hanging out on the butts. Oh my god, I almost dropped him. It's fine. Look at how cute they are together. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, what should I do next? We have... Ooh, let's do an airplane. Dino had a little belly and I'm in love. I know. <laughs> this is so cute. The little... um. What are you talking about? Like the uh, the T Rex looking one, Gregory Ghost. What's the um? What's the airplane's name? Arnold, Air in the airplane. <laughs> JJ the jet plane. I hate it. Alfie, Alfie. I hate it here. Y'all are terrible. Terrible. All right, what else do we have? Um, we have a duck. Uh, ever watched it as a kid? Yes. Oh, my God. Like, why? Why was that a show? There are so many things that I'm like, why? Even today? You're like, who thought this was a good idea? Do you think, Soros? <laughs> Y'all are cute. Look at a ducky. I love it. Oh my God, it's Duck Dan. Wow. Iconic. Um, ooh, the ghost. Here we go. Albert the duck. Duck Dan, not good enough for you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm purely joking. <gasps> oh no. Dog bone. Oh, then dog bone. Yeah, let's do dog bone next. Look at him. He's so cute. He looks so excited. I think I did get a little too crazy with the flower. So I'm just going to go ahead and like brush it off a little bit. It said to be very generous with it. So I was. But apparently I'm crazy. Okay, so we have our, our dog bone. Oh, Delbert. Your grandpa's name was Delbert. Such an old man name. I love that. I love these like nursing home chic names as Cassie so lovingly likes to call it. I love that. Uh, don't worry. It's fine. I'm brushing all these off. Oh no. Oh no, my dog bone. Nursing home chic. I love that phrase though. It's so funny. Like nursing home chic is definitely like what we would name or how we, how we call uh, like all of the old style, like old school names that are kind of coming back, you know, I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> Hi, Em, how are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. What's happening? His name was Howard. Howard the duck was already taken. <gasps> yes, I do like Howard. That's a good one. Um, wicker everything. Okay. <laughs> For real though. Why was wicker a thing? Like it gives me, it's a sensory nightmare. Wicker. <gasps> Aw, I'm going to lurk as you play, Stardew. Enjoy. Thank you for your lurk. I appreciate that. How far apart if your cookie cutters are important? Just bake for about 11 minutes. These ones are pretty big. Oven has hot spots. Da -da -da, 9 to 10 minutes. So we're going to try 9 minutes and see how they look. 
I need to space these out a little bit. Then I'm going to move them around a little bit. Y'all can see, kind of, just to make sure we're not going to bump into each other too much. We kind of like stagger them. There, I think those are cute. I'm going to put these in the fridge for a little bit so then they don't spread as much while we kind of do like another little pan. But I'm totally going to just slap this right in there and let it get all nice and uh, cold all up in my fridge or not. Hold on. I got to move some things around really quick to make room for some of this stuff. There we go. Just some of these buns. There we go. So much better. Much better. Tweed? Seriously? But like, why? It was. Tweed was terrible. Oh, no. Hey, welcome on in. How you doing today? Oh, yeah, I did go a little too crazy on that. That's fine, though. It's okay. It's fine. It said go really generous with the flower. And here I am listening too well. <laughs> oh, Balani. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. Oh, the child. Oh, he had a pet hedgehog was named Dill Prickle. Okay, but that's cute. I would have loved to have known child oboe. Dill Prickle. I think little Zeph would have appreciated that name. Actually, adult Zeph. Just Zeph appreciates that name. Welcome, Oppo. I really hope you're near having a good day. What's going on? Flip the bird. Flip the... Oh, my God. <sighs> Get out of here! What? You had a name, you had a, you had a bird named Flip the Bird. That's great. Okay, that's pretty amazing though. If I don't say so myself. I think everyone here kind of agrees with that. Dill Prickle is absolutely the best ever, isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I adore that. Okay. Zaf went too crazy on the flower. We're fine. We adapt. No flower bottoms in here. Unless it's just like so sticky to the point where it just like hangs on to everything super well. Because it is a very sticky like dough. I will admit to that. Dill prickle. <laughs> oh my god, that kills me. Okay. So. I'm going to work this dough a little bit better. Or a little bit again. Get all those mesh and pieces all put together. We are a Pawnee people. We are a Pawnee people, aren't we? I love that for us. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful cookies. Um, you said that your dad likes to call the story of a dog. I guess we had, apparently. He named it Little Bass Word so he could pretend to yell at his kids. When he, what? <laughs> Wait, little, like, bass? Like, your butt? Like a bass hole? Hey, Bridget, how are you? Welcome on in. I really hope you're having a good day. Thanks for stopping by. We're baking some gingerbread cookies today. I think yesterday was National Gingerbread Cookie Day, I think. In July, did you know that June, did you know that, or June, did you know that July is National Bean Month? I want to do some more fun things in July. Like, I want to plan some stuff. 
because that would be fun. Closest family. Oh, oh, and oh, okay. Another, okay. Like the, the father or the fatherless child. I see. I see you. <laughs> oh, your fiance just left your house. It was nice seeing him for sure. That's very exciting, Bridget. I'm excited for you. Hope you had a good visit. It's a nice Monday. Got this little star one. I wonder, oh no, it didn't come up. It's fine. It's okay. Um, oh, I'm going to do a heart because I don't think we did a heart last time, maybe. What shape should I do again? I have a feeling I want to do like more dinosaurs because those are just cute. I love gingerbread work at a cookie store and a lot of gingerbread batter left at the end of the holiday season. Like have 15 pounds of gingerbread. That's amazing. So cool. We're raffling these cookies today too. So if you guys so choose to gift any subs um, and you live in the U.S., you can have, if you win, you'll have these mailed to you. And I'm picking two different people. So far we just have Lindsay and um, uh, Katara that are in the running. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I love gingerbread and spice cookies and cakes and all sorts of stuff. Look at how cute they are. I I'm with you, Erica. I think we need like all of the dinosaurs in here right now. Dinos, I know, aren't they so freaking cute? I want to make a bunch of them. Oh, look how cute. I have the other pan in the uh, the fridge chilling a little bit. Oh, no, I can fix that. That's okay. Oops, almost had a casualty on my little star. Just got to patch them back together a little bit. Um, so they're chilling a little bit because the dough warms up as I, like, work it and everything. Oh, my God, I love this. Okay. Oh, my geez. Love me! <laughs> You guys are so nice. Thank you for your supporting. Lomaine for the three gifted subs. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm gonna swing! So for those of you guys who are watching the Not So Berry Challenge over on YouTube, are y'all liking that so far? Like, is that something that you all enjoy? How goes it? Um, I'll be coming out with another episode on Wednesday and then again on Friday. I got to record one tonight so I can edit it tomorrow. I enjoy the puppies. Yes. Okay. I'm so excited. Aren't they so fun? Well, well the puppy, there is a dog on YouTube. The, the one, one singular dog, but yes. Okay. The two dogs though. Oh no. I, I watched your most recent. I forgot you posted it late. Yes. Yeah. I posted it super late because I accidentally did eight. 30 p.m. or 9 30 p.m. instead of 9 30 a.m. So that was my bad. Um, it's fine though. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop. Yes, yeah. Lomain, yeah, I've got YouTube. I do uh, I'm posting TikToks on Tuesday and Thursday. 
it's maintainable for me. Um, and then right now I'm posting Not So Berry over on, um, Not So Berry over on YouTube. YouTube. So TikToks, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday are, um, Not So Berry. I love him, another ghost. I'm game for that one, Katara. I can do that. Look at how beautiful. Okay, we're gonna get like one more cookie out of this specific one, I think, out of this specific wheel. Hey, Irvin, how are you? Welcome on back. So glad to see you. The ghost. Okay, so, oh, we need to do it just a little bit bigger. Cause you little arms. So, so. Oh my God, that scared me. Camo, hey, how the heck are you? Welcome to the bean garden. What's going on? I hope you're having a good one. Hello, ears, and I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're making gingerbread cookies. Oh, gotta get these little arms up here. Here we go. Look how sweet. And then I. I'm going to put these in the fridge and then swap them out with the other ones. Erica, I oh, hope the cookies go well. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're so nice. Oh, going to the docks in two days? With, oh, the doctor's in two days? I hope what, um, whatever's going on that you get something figured out. I know doctor appointments literally scare the cheeks out of me. <clears throat> I am with you. Okay. So these ones were back in the fridge for a little bit. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. And it says, got a preheat oven to 350, which I have. Um, one inch apart. We're definitely within those. So we're good. Um, Nine to 10 minutes. I'm going to try nine minutes first to see how that goes. I always go on the lighter end. So like the earlier end. So I'm still learning this oven as well, but I do it anyway. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go. going to mute. There we go. I did my home assistant Al, we'll call her, um, on mute. <laughs> so I didn't trigger like everybody's during that whole thing. Okay, so I have like another disc in the, in the fridge. Um, here we go. Got that one. These are so cute. I'm excited to see who wins these cookies. I think it's necessary to slap it before you open it. Oh, nasty GI stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. Ears and I hope you get some answers. Stomach problems are always the worst. One Christmas. Hi, Bissam. How are you? I burned the life out of some vegan gingerbread. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Did you, like, forget about it? Or what's the story behind that one? And this is the dough that I made earlier today, by the way. As well. So this is fun. Ooh. Hmm. You gotta slap it. Yeah. It's mess. It's like, it's the law. Bridget. See? It's the law. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my flower. Camel, right? I'm so excited. How are you? Welcome on in. My name is Efren. My pronouns are she, her. We usually play The Sims, but every once in a while we do some baking. Hope you're having the most wonderful day. Oh, I have another cookie sheet that I can actually use. I have three because this will be perfect. Three is like the perfect amount when you're baking cookies, in my opinion, especially if you put it back in the fridge like me. Like you have one in the oven, one in the fridge, and then one on standby. So you can just like rotate it really quickly. <gasps> oh, no. Wait, I accidentally minimized. There we go. So I'm actually going to put parchment paper on this over here. Oh, that's plastic wrap stuff. What are you doing? Here's my parchment paper. Don't worry, guys. I got this handled kind of, sort of, kind of, here we go. My kitchen smells divine. 
so so i just want you to know also hi dinas how the heck are you welcome to the bean garden or is it dina welcome on in i can't wait to get to the decorating part because after all of these cookies are like getting ready to bake we are going to put the uh we're gonna put some frosting together and we're gonna make the gayest cookies possible You got this. Thank you. So this is hard. Literally. <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> I'm going to put like a little bit of flour on the. There we go. Just a little bit on the edge right there. <sighs> so it needs to be about a quarter inch thick. And she said that like, especially while it's really cold, it will get pretty crackly on the edges. So. I think Michael left and Cooper's like straight up staring at me right now. <laughs> He's just standing there like, you are the secondary human. The main human has left the house. He's our dog. <sighs> A little Cooper Pooper Scooper. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, it's fine. I only tore it a little bit. It's good. So I think this could go a little bit thinner. Hey! Tootie Fart! How are you? How you doing? Can you believe it? And almost halfway to Jelly Bean Dragon. I cannot believe it. How you doing, Tootie Fart? I hope you're having the most beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. We're baking some gingerbread cookies today. What's happening? Oh, wait, right. You said that you're back. Uh, my chicken taco salad with shapes. Uh, we did some more ghosts and dinosaurs and stuff. Not too exciting, but, you know, still there. Aw, so Camo, you said my English is bad. I'm sorry. I don't understand much when you speak. Aw, hi. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. That is difficult. Good choices. Yeah, I think these are solid choices. Yes, just like 11 days. I can't believe it. I'm so freaking excited. So the little white one is the one that you're getting, you said, right? I, Michael wants a puppy. Yeah, Michael wants one. And I'm like, I don't know if we should get one right now. Because <laughs> we have a pretty small house. And like our two cats and a small dog are like good enough for me, I think. But he wants like another little, like another little dog. And I told him, I want one that doesn't shed. <laughs> uh, preferably. Because our cats shed enough. Poodle to train. Yes, I'm so excited. Little Sheldon, how is he doing? And everything. Is he just the goodest little boy? So excited for that. Oh, look at that. Look at the little bone. <clears throat> Get a Babu. <gasps> What's a Babu? Or what, what breed is Babu again? I know who Babu is, of course. Babu is iconic. But like, which breed is Babu again? He's amazing. Just graduated from his first obedience course. Aww, that's so cute. Um, one of my really good friends, she has um, her dog. And they go around and they do service like in hospitals and stuff. And they visit with patients. More of that kind of care. Aww, a boy cocker spaniel named Winston. Nice, that's perfect. Winston is like the greatest name. I'm with you. Winston is wonderful. Or like, ooh, Winston is like a bulldog would be good. <sighs> right, therapy dog. Aw, that's so cute. Made just so excited when she got to chat in here. Yes, I said, I said hi. Saw her yesterday. It was very exciting. I'm so proud. Such a good little egg. She came running out to me. She's like, I got to chat. Like, oh my God. <laughs> that's so funny. I love that. Reasons why I like being family friendly among many things. Take the horn off the triceratops. It kind of looks like a pig. <gasps> Wait, yeah. What do you mean like this? Like if you take the, the spines off of it, 
She's been waiting a year. That is like, it's the longest year, isn't it? Like when you're waiting and you know you want to do the thing. Wait, that's the ghost. Wait, oh, this the ghost? If you take the horns off of it. <laughs> the ghost sideways. So like this. Oh! So like if you go like this and then like kind of like that. Like this is its little nose. Yes, the apron is in the merch store. It is. Um, it's pretty nice, actually. It's like a pretty common standard apron, I think. Not bad. Hey, Crafty. How you doing today? I'm so glad to see you. Look at the beautiful little dinosaur. Here are my two puppies fighting over a toy downstairs. <laughs> the necessary things. See myself out of this very embarrassing situation. If you squint, it's a pig. I'm okay, Jess. I thought it looked pig-like. <laughs> if you go like this. Just ate dinner. Oh, making you hungry. Nice. This, these smell so good. I'll be getting these. Um, I'll do like the raffle drawing off stream. And then I will be reaching out to those people tonight. And then mailing them out tomorrow. Or ASAP, basically, as soon as I get, like, a response from the people. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so fun, though. Your dogs are, like, fighting over a toy downstairs. Kyber and Ahsoka were just tearing it up earlier today. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Okay, I almost forgot that they were in the oven. I'm such a good baker. Look at me being a good baker. Checking my stuff in my oven. Cooper, go. Go. Popper, you were in my way. I'm sorry, baby boy. I feel like such a jerk. I think 10 minutes will be good. So one more minute. Just going to wait a little bit because I need it. I can put like maybe three more cookies on this cookie sheet that I have at the moment, which I have them like right here. They look pretty good. And then I can put it in like rotate it into the fridge and stuff. Because then we can start making our frosting after everything's all on pan. So then we can be good. Okay. I can't see how much is on my timer, but I know it's not a lot, so I'm just going to wait. Where are you? There we go. I think it's like four, three, two, one. Alexa, stop. Oh my god, these are so cute! <gasps> Look at how sweet they are. Y'all. I'm gonna let these cool. They look perfect. Like, oh my god. I'm gonna put this over here now. Right there, she can cool for a little bit. Why are you a pickle? Um, the community met a sub goal last month, so I'm a pickle. <laughs> ah, it's for ridiculous measure. It's just ridiculous. All right, here we go. I am going to put those in for 11 minutes or 10 minutes. There we go. They came out so good. They did, didn't they? They looked amazing. So the, they were, like cooking spice cookies is really difficult because they're already dark, you know? So like you can't really see when they catch the color on the edges or anything because they just are <laughs> already that shade. And so you really have to like watch them. And it sucks so bad sometimes because you're like, is this done? 
<sighs> so you gotta be really careful. Okay. One thing I am, I will say though, is that I am getting a lot better at rolling stuff out if I don't say so myself. Like this has been a struggle of mine for a while or when they're golden brown. Exactly, right? It's like they're already done. <laughs> this one says, the longer the cookies bake, the harder and crunchier they'll be. So for soft gingerbread cookies, follow my suggested bake times, which is what I like. I like a good soft cookie because I am that kind of person. Ooh, I'll do like a fun little heart shape. Hi, Christmas tree. Wait, you're Starbucks employee of the month. Woo, look at you. Witch, hey. Holy crap. Hi, gotta start thinking of a name now. Witch, you're amazing. Thank you so much for the eight freaking months. You're amazing. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, my dear? What's happening? I'm so glad to see you. Oh. <laughs> oh, I am. Got it. <laughs> Happy Monday to you, Lish. Good to see you. What's happening? I hope you're having a beautiful day. Earson, thank you. I hope that your coloring goes well. Take your mind off of some nice things right now. That'll be so good for you. Hi. Michael doesn't like gingerbread cookies. I feel like I'm biased. Like, I love spice cookies, and I forget that, like, they're an acquired taste, that not a lot of people like them. You know? So I'm over here like, but they're really good. They're just delicious. It's okay to be incorrect. I love them. Right, Hemdress, I'm with you. Hi, Brittany. How are you? Welcome on in. Oh, snickerdoodles. I love snickerdoodle cookies. I wonder if I can make some of those. Ah, uh, we got a lot of decorating and stuff. If there's some more time, I'll see if I have some things in my pantry. Spice cookies are the best. I'm with you. Christmas tree. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, Lish, you said social media slash Twitch, right? Can you repeat that? I can't scroll up. Pretty please with sugar on top. Spice cookies are the best. See, Christmas tree gets it. Stopping real quick to say hello. Thunderstorms are rolling through and I'm getting my power goes on in a second. Now, I love you. Thanks for stopping by. Fingers crossed that your power doesn't go out. Oh, a really busy weekend and a busy Monday. Nice. Um, If you're somebody who wants to, by the way, I think we have a, like a handful of people in the raffle. If you choose to gift at least three subs... Um, you can, I'll, I'll mail some cookies to you. You can enter to win the raffle. I'm giving to two people. Just a little extra way to support. Get yourself some real cookies. And, uh, as like a thank from me for supporting and all that. My livelihood in this community and like in a different way, of course, because there's many flavors to support, but... I still like to do stuff like this sometimes. Here we go. I really like that. Okay, so this pan is like completely done. I don't want to add any more to this one specifically, but I think I'm going to put this in the, the fridge because it's full and then I'm going to move them around because some of these got a little close, but they're like a little bit too sticky and I don't want it to be that close. So I'm going to put this over here <laughs> right in the fridge. Then we're going to turn our booties around and we're going to look at these that baked. And these are like completely cooled. At least the pan is cooled, I should say. Hi, Paterno. Yeah, pickle costume. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day. Welcome on in. So good to see you. You're going to be lurking. Amazing. How are you? Thanks for the lurk, my dear. Thanks for that support. Um... So she had an inside joke in a place that served her burnt food and she read the menu, read goldeny brown and said no goldeny black. And just a joke now, goldeny black. <laughs> Aw. It's exciting. I like that. Oh my God, y'all. Okay. 
ready for this? They are so wonderful looking on the bottom. Like, no snaker doodles, right? <laughs> the snaker doodle cookies. Oh my God. Yo, these are delicious. Just saying. I'm just putting it out there. Look at how sweet these are. They're not going to be pretty decorated, but they're going to be good. I am no good at decorating cookies, that is for sure. I'm putting these on my cooling rack right behind here now, is what I'm doing. They are so freaking cute. I love these shapes. It makes me want to make more sugar cookies. Like, I love sugar cookies. Do you guys like sugar cookies? Like, I like any fun-shaped cookie, honestly. Hyping up these cookies because they look delicious. Nice. <laughs> or because cookies, right? <laughs> I'm with you there. Did I put some in the oven? I did. Okay. I'm like, oh, you love sugar cookies? Oh, I can bake, but I can't decorate. Seriously, right, Christmas tree? I cannot decorate for the life of me either. My favorite cookies are no-bake cookies. Oh, those ones are delicious. Oh, they're just so blah to you. I love them. I feel like they're just so simple. And just like straightforward. Yes, it is. It is a TARDIS cookie jar. <laughs> you got it, Ofo. Y'all like hype over that so much. It's Michael's. Michael ordered it. He's like, I did a thing. And then he opens it and he like scurries into the kitchen one day. What a little dweeb. Oh, so seriously, a simple no-bake cookie is just like super amazing. I agree with you so much. He did a good thing. <laughs> a very good thing. Y'all approve of him so much. He's, he's pretty decent, I suppose. I should probably keep him. What do y'all think? I kind of bought a house with him, though. Gonna put this little dinosaur right over there. This little other dinosaur pal right next to him. Stanley the Stegosaurus can go right next to him. He's okay. At best. Yeah, at absolute best, I think. <laughs> um, they totally are. Sometimes um, I make which chocolate? Oh, chocolate and peanut butter no bakes. That sounds so good. Stanley could be dill prickle. That definitely could be a hedgehog cookie, too. I can see it, Opo. Dill prickle. Beautifully flowered surface. I'm going to make my little cookie puck here. Going to flatten out the circle. Going to touch it with a little bit of flour on top. Just a light dusting. Oh, your Nobi cookies never turn out right? Why is that? Are they, like, are they, uh, like, too hard with, like, the oats and stuff? My mom used to make Nobi cookies a lot for us when we were kids. I swear to God, we always had, like, some sort of a baked good in the house. Mom always had something going. I'm going to do a star. I'm feeling it. I wonder what else I could make. Like if we have time slash like Zeph's back isn't killing her kind of thing. Posted pictures of my new house and chicken coop in general. Nice. I will be sure to look after stream. I can't really, I'm not really in a good position to do it at the very moment. But I can't wait to check it out. I love that for you. So excited, Iris. Alexa, stop. Okay, where am I going? Here we go. <gasps> Woo! All right. Moment of truth with these other cookies. This next batch of these little babies. What do we got? <gasps> They're so cute. These ones puffed up a little bit differently. Or at least I guess when you, when you first take them out of the oven, they kind of do that, though. And then they kind of like sink back down again. 
Those are so cute. Look at those. <gasps> Beautiful. Yes. I'm going to put those right here so they can cool on the pan and then I'll move them over to the cookie sheet. But next, before I keep like cutting out these little babies, I need to go ahead and take these cookies and move them around a little bit. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll like at least move one or two of these over because they have to be like an inch apart at least is what it said. I don't really have like a good like way to do this. So I think it looks okay. Maybe move him down just a smidge so his little arm doesn't do it. You guys can't really see, but yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Move that little cookie there. Let's put him in the oven. A duck's into a pigeon or crow, right? Ten minute timer is on and I even remember to mute my microphone so you guys can uh, um, not have yours go off as well because I remember last time I kept doing that to a bunch of you guys and I felt so bad. Okay. I can maybe get like mm, one or two more cookies out of this, I think. At least shaped cookie, I should say. There is a difference. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Maybe I'll do a star. I think the star looks kind of cute. Oh, no, wait. We already did a heart. Okay. I'm going to do him because I feel like he is just a good shape. Tammy gingerbread. Oh, God. You know what? I didn't even do that. Oh, we do have the heart. I completely forgot. Okay. So let's make, let's try to make this heart this a heart and let's try to make a Benjamin or a Tammy shaped cookie. I think that'll be nice. So I got to roll this out best I can. Oh no. Oh my God. Wait, where is it? I wonder if it, oh my God, it fits. Okay. It's meant to be. It is meant to be. Okay. Just saying. That's pretty sweet. So the way that I did this last time is I took like this knife, right? And then I like cut around it almost. It's like you have your heart and then you can do this. A pickle just looks like a hoodie now, doesn't it? <laughs> right? It can't. I discovered that it can't fit over my headset all that well. I was like, oh, it was like pinching my head. Okay. Look. <laughs> right? It's like a chocolate bean. It looks kind of like one, doesn't it? <laughs> oh my god. This is wild. Yes! Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Perfect! Okay. So then I have like this, which I'm just going to make this into like a little round cookie for me. 
Tammy! We love Tammy. We love to see it, don't we? There, it's about the proper thickness. Boom! Got a cookie. Naming her Tammy was the best idea I ever had, to be honest. Yes! Oh, yeah, that's right. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one that's responsible for this mess. <laughs> or this gloriousness, I should say. Not really necessarily a mess, then, huh? Aw, yay! And these are going to go into the fridge. And they're going to sit in here for a little while until those other ones go. Because, like, the reason why I do that is so they have enough time to, like, set up and chill again. Because they get a little bit warm when you're, like, working the dough and everything. And then in the oven, um, they won't spread as much, which is a big deal. All right. So these are still very warm. But they look amazing. These were baked for 10 minutes. Well, they look so good. Look at how delicious these cookies are. You're as responsible. That's true. You are pretty responsible for like a lot of the messes around here. That is a very fair point. I <sighs> can't believe you. How could you do this to me? Oh, they smell so good. Y'all, we have so many cute little shapes, like little dinosaurs, planes, ducks, bones, hearts. So interesting, like the just the variety of shapes that you guys decided. And I think my contribution was like the duck, I think. So I did like that one. I will say I did do pretty good work there. Personally, I think so. Pretty amazing. You're the one that gave me a sword. That's true. That is fair. I did. I did do this to myself. <laughs> That's a very fair one. So these are all gonna go into the sink. On my little cookie cutters, just plop them right in there. And then, same with this and this. And that we can clean up our workstation because we need to make frosting now is what we have to do. So that's going to be exciting. We used all of that dough. There were no scraps. I'm pretty proud of that fact personally. Don't know about you guys. But I thought that was pretty amazing. If I don't say so myself. Okay. Is it raining by anyone else? Because holy heck, we had, I was really, really concerned that um, it might like knock my internet out because I was getting ready. It was like 4 p.m. and it just started downpouring here. It was super crazy. Like how much rain we got it was nuts. Um, so not here. Oh, it was supposed, um, it was in supposed, like it was supposed to yesterday. Really? Raining lots here, right, Lomaine? I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe it. How much it was. Like, straight up. I couldn't see across the street, kind of thing. Bridget, yeah, it's raining pretty hard too. I lost power tempor er, temporarily. Nice. Not nice, I mean. Um, I don't know why I said that, but yeah. <laughs> That's so scary. That is. Yeah, I was I was really concerned that we were going to lose power, like, for real. Um, I'm very glad that we didn't because this is very fun. And I would have been very sad. Especially with no internet. I love all these cookies, y'all. These are so cute. They're so freaking adorable. Cleaning up all my flower mess. I got like little cookie, like chunks kind of stuck to the to the work surface too. So I got to work that up. It's not too bad though. So good. 
Um, never came, I guess. Oh, but not far from you though. Got it. So like it blew a different direction, probably. Cause that happens a lot too. Oh my God. Ugh. So we need to make royal icing. Um, <gasps> wait, I have like a ton of sprinkles that I could use too, if we wanted to. I think sprinkles would be a lot of fun. Cause why not? <laughs> Um, ah, Amy, really? I see. That makes that makes sense, though. Like it blew a different direction. That's happened to me a couple times. I'm like, yeah, I want rain, and then it just didn't happen. Like it sucks sometimes. Okay, so I found my sprinkles. Alexa, how much on my timer? Got it. My spidey, my cookie senses were tingling. But I have a ton of sprinkles, so we're definitely going to check into these. Hey, Carnage, welcome on in. How you doing? Rain always makes me so sleepy, right? Like, rain definitely makes me sleepy, too. Like, my whole body hurts. Just aches everywhere. So that's a thing too that I get to endure. I'm thinking I'm gonna use one of these bowls, probably, maybe. And hope it's large enough. Alexa, stop. I might have to wash a different one though. Sprinkles, right? Yeah. Um, you were gonna build it entirely too large, but don't and realize it until you're decorating absolutely all the time. Um, cause that's where I'm at right now and it's too late because roofing is done and I refuse to redo that. <laughs> Are you doing like from a, fr a from scratch build, I'm assuming, Eva? Oh my God, that's the worst one that happens. You're like, why have I done this to myself? I do that all too much. I know it all too well. Aw, yay! Look at that! Ooh. Uh, rain always makes my bad hand and wrist hurt, right? Yep. Mine is my like pelvic area due to like all the issues that I have there. That sucks a lot when that happens. Ooh, wait, shoot. Stupid zap put things right in the way where I need to like move them to. I like put these bowls where I need to put this. I hate it here. Who put those there? Here we go. Here we are. Now those cookies can um, can kind of rest for a little while. Then I need to put a different cookie sheet in the oven over here. So there we go. That'll be good. Beautiful. The last of this batch of cookies, because I still have those other ones that I'll bake off uh, at a future day, probably like tomorrow or something. Ten minutes. Oh, kind of remember how I said I broke the rules for your greenhouse shell and made another building. I do remember that. So you said the second building is freehand and it's beautiful, but a pain in the booty. Oh my God. Wait, so are you doing the pride shell then? Is that what you're saying? Like, is that what's going on here? Oh my God. Yay, cookies, right? They're, they smell so good. I'm so excited. Um, so let's pick out, I have a, um, a frosting recipe here that I want to pull that up. The royal icing. All right. Confectioner sugar. So we have this meringue powder. Got that. And water. So I will make sure to get water. It says room temperature, so I'm actually going to just put it like in a little glass, and then I actually have this right over here. Does it say room temperature? Am I just making that up? Yeah, it says room temperature. Okay. Don't worry. I have a Brita water pitcher. 
So I have to do a little bit of, um, a little bit of prep work here. So I have to do up some dishes. So don't mind me. I'm just going to wash my bowls real quick. Um, but it's fine. So I can't read chat at the very second. So, so. Hello. Thank you for the follow, by the way. How the heck are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad you're here. Can't read chat at the moment, but thanks for stopping by. I'm going to wash this bowl so we can make some royal icing and frost up some of our cookies that are cooled. So that's really exciting. <clears throat> you know, dishes are the most unfortunate portion of cookie baking, in my opinion, or just any kind of anything in life. Just life. It's so unfortunate. I hate it. <laughs> I'll do so many other things, but like, I think, oh God, laundry and dishes. So basically, if I have to stand in one place, I hate it. <sighs> Me checking recipes 15 times. Seriously? Okay, I do that too. And yep, dishes are the worst, little man. But pride shell sucks. Nice. The pride shell. I'm excited to see what you do with it, Eva. I need to sit my butt down. I think tonight I might record an episode of the Not So Berry Challenge so I can edit it. And then I need to do a speed build of the Marquis shell and then our pride shell. So I really want to do those. But I figure I, I'm too slow of a builder because I really wanted to do weekly speed builds so bad. But... I'm a slow builder, and I was getting really, 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 really stressed out with that. So that's kind of why I did the gameplay, and I'm really liking that so far, like the gameplay uh, stuff. Hey, Angela, dishes suck. Seriously, gross yourself up with <laughs> I feel like, Angela, I feel like, I like, like when I was living on my own too, I feel like that I was grossing myself out on a more regular basis than with, like, other people's dishes. <laughs> I'm like, why is this a thing? Like, I even had a dishwasher and everything, and I just suck at being an adult sometimes. <laughs> we all do it. Welcome on in, Angela. Also, Roko. It was Roko with a follow. Right? I'm an animal. Like, who did this? And, like, the, the crappy thing is, or the good thing, is that you can't get mad at other people for it because it was you. So you're like, this, I am a product of my own demise here just terrible. Um, I agree. I have to spray them off every time I'm done because of no thing. I know, right? Like I spray mine down and I at least soak it with water right away because screw scrubbing things because I'm lazy. <laughs> I mean, you know, just, just, just do lazy smart. Just do it smart. That's easy. So that's four cups. Okay. So I need the cup thingy. Here we go. It's all dirty. Who did that? Disgusting! It was me. I'm the one. <gasps> Thank you! Who subbed? Who did that? Who did that? Thank you so much! What the frick, y'all? Thank you for the sub. That was Carnage. Thank you for the Prime Subby for two months straight. You're cool. Thank you for being a cool person. <laughs> but thank you so much for your support, though. We're almost already at our 50 sub milestone um, for the month, which is a coloring stream. And then the higher the subs, the more intense the streams get. So like baking is up there, I think, again. I love doing it. I love trying to at least do a baking stream a month. I love it. Thank you for allowing me to do this for a job. Thank you for allowing me grace of being a human and struggling with what content I wanted to create and which platforms and how. Um, cause that was a huge part of it for me. What am I doing? Did I have to sift? Dang it. I have to shit, shoot. <laughs> I have to wash my sifter. Okay. I hate washing sifters by hand <laughs> cause it's just a bunch of tiny holes and it's the worst. Okay. It's fine. Cause it's hard to dry mostly cause you want this to be dry. Otherwise, it just like gums up and it sticks. I said a word. 
<laughs> Rip. <laughs> what? Who said that? I. It was the pickle. Okay. I'm going to do this though. See if I can get this to go over my hair again. Or my headset. There we go. I am a beautiful pickle. Just a pickle baking some cookies. <laughs> Naughty pickle. <laughs> That's what I say to Michael. Wait, what? <laughs> Angela. <laughs> Thank you. It's so hard to be family friendly sometimes. You guys are sorry. Why did I just smell this? I don't know. Angela, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on in, my dear. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Why? This passes the sniff test. Smells clean. It, it did pass, in case you're wondering. It smells like clean. Whatever clean smells like, it smells like that. This towel is a little moist now because of that. Ooh, I said the word. <sighs> Thank you so much for the subby though. Welcome on in. Uh, perfect amount of chaos. I mean, my life seriously. Okay, welcome to the bean garden, my dear. <laughs> my name's Zephyrin. I will be your host. I am a pickle. This is Tammy on my apron. It's a sugar cookie that I made. Uh, if you look at the Zephyrin bean emote, um, that's what it was supposed to be. <laughs> and then it was not. And so it's Tammy. <laughs> right, Pick. Pure chaotic wholesomeness up in this house. We play the Sims primarily, but we branch out and we do coloring. Um, we do the Sims. Sims is like our thing. We do baking. Um, and I love this. I create content on YouTube as well as like TikTok. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Nerd fart. Why are you doing that? And don't forget y'all. By the way, remember, um, the coolest clipper contest. So if you want to enter for that, um, get yourself a sticker, a sticker. Okay. So we have to get sifty with it. Na, 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 You know what? I'm just going to go with it. Getting sifty with it. It makes you cringe in face palm. That's my brand. Uh, look at those chunkies. Okay, this is probably my favorite part about sifting. Is like smashing the chunks through the holes. Like that. I don't know why, but I find it to be so satisfying. Okay, so there's one cup. Oh, two. Thank God I'm not like losing count. <gasps> Wait, Alexa, stop. <laughs> I forgot I had something in the oven. <laughs> what got to turn the house down? Hold on. Oh, my babies. Oh, look. I need to show you my babies. Look at how cute they are. Smashing chunks. Yeah. Hi, Charmy. How you doing? Welcome on in. How you doing today? Um, if you guys like gingerbread cookies and stuff, um, if you do any of the, the sub things on the little menu up there, you um, there's two people I'll be picking. Um and stuff that I will ship cookies to. Oh, wait, um, I'm organizing my cookies, don't mind me. I'm stacking like shapes so I can like make more room on my cooling rack. We have a gross miss, like we need more airplanes, but I can't do any more right now. Like these ones are good. <laughs> Here we go. There we are. Now I have a lot of room. So maybe I'll put the airplane like on top of the ghosts because we do what we want. 
<gasps> we have three ducks. Wait, that's a fresh one. I can't do that. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to like make room over here for these and like put these cookies and like stack them and stuff, but make sure our warm ones are not double stacked because they need to cool properly and not like sag and stuff. <sighs> I love it. <clears throat> Nerd beat you to it. What was that laugh? Um, it was my laughing. Why are you making fun of the way that I laugh? <gasps> oh my God, that scared me. Um, oh, here we go. I need to put my cookies over here to cool. And I have my little round cookie that we can make too. Like I want to, I want to eat that one once it cools a little bit more. Cause that, that is fair. It is your job. Being a moderator comes with like a very, it's difficult. Did I? Okay. I'm good. Um, all right. I can turn off my oven. <laughs> I was like, did I forget to put a timer on? Because that would very much so be me. What was I saying? Um, I am the ringleader of this circus. What I'm saying is that Eva's just a clown. <laughs> oh, you have a burn for free right there, sister. <laughs> oh, my God. There was a mark and it scared the shnikes out of me. <laughs> it was like a black mark. Um, <laughs> my soul left my body and we, I know, right? Being mean, being is hard. It is, it is, you know, I know I appreciate them a lot though. <laughs> they do so much for me in this community. Good instant karma. <laughs> oh, I made myself sad. Bruh. It's tough having crusty elbows, Eva. Ooh. I love the feeling of like powdered sugar. I really just want to like stick my fist in it so bad. Like something fierce. Like a bucket of cornstarch almost kind of thing. And this is number four. Here we go. Amount of times I still lose my body because I'm uh, someone, an item is some or someone standing in a room, <gasps> right? Like I scared myself with a big tripod thing that I have now. I picked one up and I finally put it together, like after we moved and stuff. Um, and it scared the cheese out of me. Okay. Four cups of sugar, powdered sugar. All right, guys. Uh, yelled at my, yelled at my laptop because I thought chocolate crumb was a spider. Nerd, and you just got yourself like a new laptop too. Uh, being so kind thank you for the five gifted subs <laughs> you entered yourself with two raffle entries thank you so much you are so cool <laughs> oh thank you thank you my dear y'all are so nice uh i baked yesterday it was exhausting oh my god charming my back hurts so bad <sighs> i've been trying to do like I, I'm a full-time streamer and I work from home and I sit on my butt a lot, a lot y'all. I used to be able to run circles for like 18 plus hours a day around people and like go home and be like, let's clean the house kind of thing. And now I'm just like, I was standing for two minutes and I'm dying. Ginger pickles or pickle beans. That sounds awful. I'm in. So July is National Bean Month, by the way. Just so you know. Um, 
I, if we end up hitting like this month, if we end up hitting like a certain sub milestone or whatever, I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, Michael will dump a whole bunch of beans on me <laughs> um, in July. This is meringue powder, by the way. Green bean casserole. <gasps> maybe, oh, maybe I'll have to add in like a fun little, um, wow, that would be so fun. Maybe I'll have to add in something. Baked bean. Yep, baked beans in a kiddie pool. That's exactly what it's going to be like. Yep. It will be. Um, maybe I'll have to do like a fun bean-themed baking stream somehow. Like we do bean recipes. <clears throat> Is it cannabinism then? Okay, so three tablespoons meringue powder. Um, so this. I forgot to stir it first. It's fine. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys could see that. I just screeched for no reason. But it kind of poofed all over me a little bit. Did you guys even see it? Like, I don't even know. I tried to stir it. <gasps> no! Why? Oh, there's a, there's a lip on the bottom? What kind of monsters designed this thing? Hi, Ducky. Thank you. How are you? What's going on? I hope you're having a good day. All right, guys. I got one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. And three tablespoons. <laughs> a meringue, meringue powder. Powder. I need to add this to my list again. Because with my luck, I'll forget about it. And it is getting low. Knowing me, I'll make meringue uh, or like royal icing or something at some point again. And then need to do that. All confused, but I'm great. Nice. Yeah. So the community hit like a certain sub goal last month. And now I'm a pickle. Basically. <gasps> Wait. Also, hi, Kay Brown. How are you? Welcome on back. We're doing a cookie raffle. So if you guys um, choose to, you can have a chance to win the cookies. I'm going to send two Lucky Beans a care package. And I think we have four people who are in the entry right now, which is amazing. So thank you guys for that. That's better than I expected, honestly. Um, I'm also rinsing my little thingy mabobs here. That is the absolute term for this. Definitely not beaters. They are thingy mabobs. Mixy mabobs? I think mixy mabobs is way more fun. I am going to call them mixy mabobs. Mixy things? Beaters? That just sounds too right. They're mixy mabobs now. All right. I feel like Eva's making fun of me. <clears throat> Hi! Hi, Teeny Fart! Hi, Moonlight! Welcome on in! How you doing? Mom handled things today with flowers. Aw. You've been on my mind, K Brown. I'm so sorry for everything. How iconic, right? Aw. Ducky, we made a bunch of uh, gingerbread cookies, by the way. Right now, we're kind of making the frosting, and we're going to decorate. I'm probably going to get a chair to kneel on because my old lady back cannot handle this. <laughs> Oh, but we made, let me show you guys some of the cookies that we made. They're really cute. You were thinking it though. I could smell it somehow. But look, oh, he's going to be in a bus. Oh, that's the cutest thing. I love that, Kate Brown. Gingerbread cookies. Oh, and they're going to wrap it. That's so cute. I know, I love the dinosaurs too! Jesus frick! <laughs> Amy, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. What the fart nuggets? Thank you a lot for that, Amy. Amy's entered the chat for the raffle for the cookies. Teeny fart, I made lots of airplanes. There's like three or four airplanes, I think. How are you, Teeny fart? I love you. What am I doing? You ever just like ADHD your way out of everything in life? Because that's me. Like, I am extra bad. 
Oh, if you got gifted a sub, congrats, Amy. Thank you for that. Wait. There's your dance for the sub, Amy. <laughs> Just kidding. But not kidding because I actually did it. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to get my mixer because, like, I forgot that I needed the mixer. And I unplugged it like a dum-dum. Woo! <laughs> Three is. Katara found that like immediately, I think. Didn't you? Oh no, my headset. Uh, give me a sec, please. Uh, trying to plug things in and I'm an old lady. Uh, that actually... I was mostly fighting the headset. <laughs> okay, we're good. Crisis averted. We're fine. Good to see ya. We're gonna make some cute frosting here and then we're gonna make the gayest gingerbread cookies possible. I have a lot of colors. We're gonna see what we can do. Maybe we'll do a poll and see like what colors we wanna do. I think every color of the rainbow, like I divide it up and we go with that. I think that sounds like fun. <clears throat> oh, it brings you so much joy. <laughs> I love that. Um, nine to 10 tablespoons of water. Okay. <sighs> Count with me. No one messed me up. Here we go. I like how, like, like I can hear you guys say anything anyway. I don't know why I said that. One. Ah, ah. Two. Ah, ah. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, one. <laughs> I panicked so bad I almost spilled the water. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lamey. <laughs> Oh, I know why you did that. Lomaine. Oh no, okay, Lomaine. <sighs> Thank you. But also it took it took me a second to realize that you did that gift of supplement because it counts. And you are the worst person ever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gifted sub, so dear. Hi, how are you? Everyone coming on in. Mikey, thank you for the 14 months. Mikey, <gasps> Mikey, is it your birthday today? Mikey, is it your birthday? Or is that like tomorrow? Was that yesterday? Is it today? Mikey, are you old? Thank you for the 200 biddies, Katara. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you for that. You're so nice. That was the best alert. Mojo, you like it? <laughs> Aw, nerd fart. Thank you. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> oh, why do I do the things that I do, you guys? Okay, but like four cups of powdered sugar reduces to this. How offensive is this? Mm, hype. <gasps> There's a hype train. Thank you. Lomain, thank you for the 100 biddies. A level three hype train at that. Holy shnikes. 
I'm going to start crying. Because <laughs> I'm a whiny. Shaylin, good to see you. How are you? The mixer sounds like the song a little bit, didn't it? I think it almost did it to like the tune. So, y'all, should I divide up the, the frosting into like different colors? I think we need to make the gayest rainbow things possible. It's Pride Month, y'all. I feel like we gotta. It's the law of the land. The gays depend on it. <laughs> Aww. Confused by the pickle. Amazon, hey! Um, so the community, uh, basically, they, they hit a sub goal um, last month, and now I'm a pickle. <laughs> I can't tell why I'm stream the stream. <laughs> Cozy chaos, they call it. Gayest Roy G. Biv icing, right? Oh, we're going to get Roy G. Bivin in here. I definitely wasn't going to say a different word or anything like that. <laughs> no. <that's... laughs> I hate this. Cure stuff. <laughs> the term what? Why does Automod make it weird? This is going to sound really bad, but I promise it's not. My boyfriend and I were making cookies when we decided to make frosting for them, and I was messing with him and told him to bite me, and he goes, I'll get you with wet sticky stuff as mom. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I was like, what did I just hear? And then pick up the frosting and say, frosting? Like, oh my God. <laughs> Brittany. <laughs> I love it. I love the out of context stuff like that, though. It's my favorite. So I'm going to make a mess. I am not a neat person when I'm cooking, y'all. Or like baking. I just go for it. Also, Mikey, you said you are old. It, it, it's, it's really your birthday today? Mikey! Happy freaking birthday. Can we get some happy birthdays in chat? Even if it's, I think it is. I think it is Mikey's birthday today. Anthony, hey, how the heck are you? Welcome on in. It is. Yay! Happy birthday! I'm so excited. Doom Steely, someone I know in, in person, by the way. Ugh. 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 I'm just kidding. He's okay. He's pretty nice. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mikey. Thank you so much for choosing to stop on in on your special day. Hey, hey, hey. R-O-Y-G. I need one more. <laughs> Gonna do this one because I don't have any more of those small ones. They're in the fridge. Thank you for the high train. Chrissy, you said that your ears are hurting with excitement. Welcome on in. Why are they hurting? Kirsta! <laughs> Kirsta, thank you for the five gifted subs, you sweet pea. What the fork nugget? What the Fortnite? <laughs> I really appreciate that. You are so kind. Um, new job, new apartment, new age. You are recreating yourself, dear. Kirsta is wanting some cookies. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you for your support, my dear. Every day, no matter what it looks like, I appreciate you. Thank you for being a beautiful soul and being by my side. Oh, welcome to my shroom in peace, dude. You're like, I am out. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, yeah, it do be like that, don't it? So how is everyone's day? I know some of you guys are just coming on in. I hope you guys had the gayest Monday. I mean, if you're shopping in, my name is Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I'm a full-time broadcaster and I like The Sims a lot. Um, One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. 
man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi, Pop. How you doing? Welcome on in. I miss this. Uh, I haven't been on your streams in a long while. Oh, Christy, I hope you're doing good. Welcome back. You know, I'm glad you're here. I hope you're taking care of yourself. We will always. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's making fart and thing. I'm an adult. Is this what etching feels like? Get in the. <laughs> Sorry, Angela. I am a thing today. <laughs> Joey. Hi. Please don't. <laughs> I'm in a mood today. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hi, Pop. I hope you're doing good. Welcome on in. <laughs> Got my new calendar day. It's so cute. Oh, my God. It is a cow in the corner. I'm so jealous of you, Brittany. That's amazing. I want cows. Mojo, you're like, I love it. I want a calendar with cows. Moo. You need more? Aw. <laughs> thank you for being so kind to me, though. Thank you again, Mojo, for the three gifted subs. I don't know if I actually said thank you, but I am very grateful for you. And anything water. Um, You would think straight liquor. But no, it's just it's water. <laughs> Kirsta, I can't connect to chat on your laptop. Hi. How are you doing, pretty? I love you. <clears throat> oh, it's like that tick up, like TikTok. That, that's liquor. Oh no, that's liquor. I love that and I laugh so hard every time. Also, this is the creamiest, cutest orange I've ever seen in my life. We're making gay rainbows in here. Farting noises, get out of here. Nerd. Wait, Katara, y'all. <laughs> y'all. Y'all who let you in here? I did. It was me. I know the orange, it's so cute, Kirsa. Also, Kirsa, did you hear me say thank you so much for everything? Love the apron, thank you. Uh, mentioned a bit ago, uh, been doing, oh, you've been doing a lot of art. What kind of art? Like what medium are you working on? Quirky. <laughs> Quirky, thank you so much for the three months, you sweet peen. I appreciate that. Welcome on back. Look at your new sub badge. Thank you for your support, all y'all. And remember, support comes in any sort of flavor, um, even if it's just hanging out, you know, especially if it's just hanging out. So thank you, everybody, for that. I mean that. It was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the three months, dear. How you doing? Um, you oh, you gifted him a sixty-nine, girl. Nice. <clears throat> I really do want to like try to eat this cookie though. So this is one that I made for myself. Oh my god. Okay, I really like spice cookies. You see that? If you like gingerbread, y'all. This is the first time I've made this recipe. These are so good. Oh, can you hear me chewing? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> Smiling face with heart. Hi. <laughs> sorry, I forgot you guys can hear me chew on this mic. Thank you for 26 months. Hey, Mars, how are you doing today? Welcome on back, my dear. We're making the gayest cookies possible. 
I'm also out of like these spicy cookies. You have to use Christmas vibes. Oh my God. Right. That's why I was so surprised to find that I think gingerbread day is in June. Like I think it was yesterday technically. I know, right? <laughs> it was so good. That was amazing. Thank you for the 26 months. You've been here for over two years. That just blows my brain. The fact that like any person wants to hang out with me for that long. Like genuinely, thank you so much. Right? Like I, I know that gingerbread like house day is in um is in like December. I do know that, but not like gingerbread day. Bean National Bean Month is next month. That's our month, guys. That is us. Aw, so you said you have, oh my God. I know, I can't believe it. It was really good, y'all. I'm not just saying that. Like if you like spice cookies, um, these are good. Roy G. Biv. Okay, we're gonna do blue. Why is it farting? Here we go. It was like blooping all over the place. <laughs> Get it blue because it's blooping. Right? It's always a good day for gingerbread cookies. That's what I'm saying. Like these are really good. They're very spiceful. Like really melt. Like just really smooth. <clears throat> I'm curious to see because I ran out of molasses on the second batch because I did like a batch where I like mixed some on stream you know because it has to chill they had to chill like the dough had to chill for um uh like three hours and so I made some this afternoon to like so we can have some on stream and yeah Bloop, giggle, right? Out of hand, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm going to play The Sims. Um, my boyfriend got me to a new expansion pack. Okay, that's so exciting. Um, I'm excited to play. Seriously, I'm excited. What ones did you get? Again, I think you might have mentioned. Maybe, maybe not. Make boba muffins tonight. Wait, that sounds so good. Also, nerd fart. I love you. You're heading out. I know it was such an amazingly exhausting day for you, too. Holy shnikes. For real, please do go lay down. Recipe, I don't. Um, Here. I always forget to do that. Give me a second. This is the recipe that I use. Right there. We don't gatekeep, gatekeep in this house. We share. So there is a secret project relating to baking that I have talked to the mods a little bit about. Are you guys interested in it? Where you guys get involved? I love these colors, y'all. These are so cute. I'm gonna die. <gasps> I'm gonna die. Look at how cute they are. You have to add this to your arsenal. It's so good. They are delicious. You can bake them longer so they're not as chewy, but I did like 10 minutes in my oven. Nine to 10 minutes. Um, the cornbread. Oh, and food pictures. Oh my God. I love chewy cookies. Seriously. I'm with you. These are, have like the right amount of like crunchy to chewiness to them. They're not underbaked. They're like exactly what you would need them to be. Uh, Kirsten, I think you do. You might, you, or if you, if you caught it in chat, I know sometimes chat moves quick, like in the, in the mod area. Amy's always interested, right? <laughs> yeah. I want to know baking project vibrates and happy baking. Yes. Okay. So we want to do a, a bean garden like cookbook where community, you guys submit your favorite recipes and like I'll make them on stream. We'll add it to it. Put ones I've made on stream to there. Well, I'll add it to it. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. Like, um, we're still working out some things like uh, in the background and everything for it. But 
<laughs> I'm so excited. What do I need to decorate first, y'all? Okay, I'm going to bring all the cookies over. Um, these are all cool and ready to go. Who do we decorate first? We've got a lot to do here. <clears throat> I know it's going to be so good. Oh, Seasons and Island Living. Those are so good. Excited to play with Mort Wright. Seriously. You can do... Right, Solani is such a beautiful world. Also, I actually got some little blue, a little bit of blue all up in that. So I'm going to actually grab like a, like a little toothpick, I think, or two. <clears throat> and I want to like fish it out so it doesn't like mix it into it. <gasps> Hi, how are you? Cheesy Vegemite Damper with me. My contribution is the best. Oh my God. I would love that. And they're ones that I would like try to make on stream too. And your COVID savior bread. Ooh. What's that? Like, what is that? Oh, COVID survivor bread. I read that as savior, but also similar. <laughs> Hi, Lurlick. How are you doing today, my pretty friend? What is going on? Oh, it looks like cheese sauce. Ooh. I've never really had Vegemite before. I read out the way too, right? <laughs> My brain's like, hmm, autocomplete. All right, so I'm not the best at decorating, and I know you can, like, pipe this, but your girl's a clumsy girl. All right, I'm actually going to move these over here because, like, stuff and things. Here we go. <clears throat> You're pretty good, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, you. Oh, I want to do dinosaurs and a duck and a star first. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So, like, okay. I feel like, oh, my God, wait. How cute are these? I'm using the end of a spoon because I, like, ran out of stuff. I feel like such a weenie. Like I ran out of a, it's kind of nice handle though. I don't say, my, say so myself. I know the dinos are so cute. Lace, I'm with you. Holy shnikes. I really am. Whatever works, right? <laughs> if it works, it works. Exactly. So I'm using like the butt of a spoon or the, the handle of a spoon. Wait, no, he's got a... Ah. So we got some sprinkles. I'm going to give him an eyeball. Um, But it has to be like a big one. Like a perler. <gasps> Ooh, wait, that's pretty. There's like gold. My mom gave me a bunch of sprinkles. And like, I don't know what I'm doing. <clears throat> oh, this week's going to be a TikTok hack. Oh, right? Pretty much, right? Just use the end of a spoon. Look at him. He's got some, like, blue on the top of it. Right? The duck. Isn't it so cute? I love them. Um, yeah, my mom gave me a bunch of these. She's like, please take these. I don't bake anymore. There's just chocolate in that one. <laughs> That's just her giving me, like, the container. Um, This'll do. There's, like, pink pearls. <clears throat> Still sealed. Way to go, Mom. Look at how sweet. Hi, Sky. How are you? <clears throat> how you doing? I really hope you're having a beautiful day. So this is, I'll put this like right here. <gasps> He's got an eyeball. I have to go to bed. Um, have fun with the rest of your decorating Mo mojo. Thank you so much. Uh, keep your eyes to the messages and everything because I'll be doing the raffle thingy tonight and everything. So I'm going to do, ah! oh, we're going to do a rainbow star. How should I do this? I think I'm going to do it from like top bottom or top to bottom. So I'm going to put it like right there Ew. 
why how do people like frost these so well you know like they build it up and then they they like make it look so perfect how do people do that because i could never i literally could never because this kind of makes me want to die. I know. I'm like, how do you do that? Like, what kind of deity do I have to make a sacrifice to? Because b piping bags? No, I've seen people do it with, like, their, like, spatula thingies. Toothpicks help. They do. But I suppose the right consistency. Hey, Maris, watching, uh, watching all 75 gel no pasta. Oh, my God. Wait, I want one. I want it. Oh my god, Julian, like Jenna Marbles Julian, just came out with a uh, a collab with the thing. Um, Hollow Taco. Oh no, this cookie's too small to fit all the gay. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I think that was the best description I've ever made in my whole life. The cookie's too small for, to fit all the gay. Hi, cookie. Welcome back. How are you? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> A multi cookie installation? That's fair. I like that lace. I love it. A multi cookie installation <laughs> will take you on a journey of flavor. I like it. Beautiful. Ooh, I want to get fancy. Hold up. <clears throat> yeah, like a tooth. Exactly. Like little dots on the colors that don't fit. I was going to go like this. Oh, no. This is not working the way that I envisioned it because it's not wet enough. Oh no, <laughs> it's kind of setting up okay. Like it's not bad. <clears throat> but it's just hardening. I'm like way too, nice marble, right? Yeah, we're trying it now. Little swirlies, look at that. I mean, they're kind of settling down though. It's not like my best work. But it works. It's pretty cute. Oh no. <laughs> the cookie's too small to fit all the gay. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Why is why am I like this? <sighs> we need to do a second installation of this art here. Right? Like it almost gives me tie-dye vibes exactly. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So we're going to do the rest of them so we're gonna do the green blue and then purple i know like we all have like we all i swear to god we all share a same like the same brain the bleh, a single brain cell together that's my story and i'm sticking to it forget hive mind it's the bean brain I don't know what I'm doing. I'm um, heading over the night. I open in the morning. Aw, Bridget, I'll see you later. Thank you so much. I'll catch you soon. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. Some people like pipe these so flawlessly and I'm just over here like doop, 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 doop. Doing my best. Oh. By the way, y'all, I'm coming out with a new episode of the Not So Berry Challenge on Wednesday. There's a new TikTok coming out tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm glooping all over the place. Stop. This is too gay for me. Ugh. 
<sighs> I think there's five episodes out right now. I'm trying to do every... Um, <clears throat> oh my god, it's 8.30. <laughs> I'm trying to do every single uh, Wednesday and Friday right now. That is my goal. Okay. Ooh, time for gay swirlies. I know, I really like these colors too. I'm with ya. It's a lot of frosting though, I will admit. That's kind of fun, right? They do go well to uh, super well together, don't they? Oh my jeez, Iggy! Thank you. Oh shoot, I'm gaying all over the place. That's a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much! My swirls are getting better. Wait, no. And you're officially on the raffle. I appreciate that. By the way, I didn't want to do it today because like frosting and baking and Nessus, you know, like all the kitchen messiness. But um, I forgot to start it at the beginning of June because I am very organized, clearly. Um, I will have like a little rainbow thing that I'm going to hang up in my office. And then if you guys gift the subs and stuff like, like that too, um, then your name will go on it just as like a little thank you and a cute little decor piece for Pride Month. Um, a little cute rain rainbow thing. So not only are you going to get cookies, but your name's going to go on there too. So thank you for the support all the way. <clears throat> Aw, Twitch is buffering. That's so rude. I'm so sorry, Prissy. What the heck? What in the butt? Oh, that bums me out. The cookies. Aw, oh, thank you. I'm trying really hard. I'm not like the best at decorating cookies, but I hope they taste good to you guys because I thought that that one that I tried earlier tasted really good. I know Twitch is being twitchy, right? Oh, it just could be like, just a general twitchy twitch thing. Twitch is rude sometimes. Very, very, very rude. He has a beak. A beak. <clears throat> um, you know what? I don't know how this is going to look, but it's sanding sugar, and I want to sand the crap out of this little duck because I want him to be fabulous. Ah, I love him. Wait. I want to do, like, one of these little candy thingies. Oh, they are. I just want to use your computer. That's so rude. What the heck? Oh, no, it rolled off. Hold on. That's not how we eyeball here, mister. Oh, no. I guess his eyeball is, like, right there now. <laughs> Apparently, that's what we have. So we have this cute little guy. 
Oh no, I got sprinkles all over the place. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Um, aw, Iggy, thank you again for the three gifted subs though. You're so kind. Thank you, thank you. Um, thanks for your support. So we can move these over here. Oh, can you guys still hear me? Hello? Hello? Okay, we're good. I hit a button and I thought it like messed it up for a second. <clears throat> so we're doing pretty gosh darn good. We good? Thank you. Um, Because you know, your girl's very clumsy and forgetful and everything. <laughs> Gotta rely on y'all to, to help me out here. Also, I found the rainbow sprinkles. Life is good. Okay. I am gonna like move some of these babes over here to dry on like my little rack over here. Okay, what else should we do? So we have like rainbow stars, we have a duck, we have a dinosaur. <gasps> Ooh, maybe I should do like a bone, like a rainbow bone. I think that would be fun because we have like an airplane. We got bones, all sorts of stuff. Nice extra gay. I love that. Oh, heart too. Yeah, we do have a heart, don't we? That one's a good one. Um, Again, if you guys did enter in the raffle. Um, uh, hello. I will be doing the drawing after stream tonight. And then make sure to keep in touch with your Twitch DMs. So I'll reach out to you tonight. Rainbow, <laughs> get out of here. Charmy, that's the best idea. I've, that's the best idea ever. We're going to do a rainbow. And we're going to do a rainbow ghost. And then I have a dinosaur, a different dinosaur. <sighs> Okay, the rain bone. I almost said a very different word, um, but I don't think we'd appreciate that. <gasps> different pride cookies. That's a good idea. Ooh. So this one's kind of like red slash pink. I'm gonna make this a bisexual bone, a bi bone, maybe. Some of these cookies has very thick frosting. <laughs> like, I love that idea. Poiple. Right in the middle. A thigh bone. The thigh bone. The most bisexual of bones. The thigh bone. <laughs> Going to make a Richard cookie. Oh, wait. We, we, we could. Very... We definitely could. Um, an ode to Richard. A thick Richard cookie. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> Joey. I love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. I really do want to do a Richard cookie. Break a bone and make a Richard. That's exactly what I'm thinking right now. I think it's going to happen. I can also add a little bit of water to these to like thin them up if I need to. Oh my god. I hate it. You guys are terrible people, but I love it. Like, terrible in all the best ways, I should say. Yay! Okay. We gotta, we gotta. Wonderfully awful, exactly. Like, we have to do this next one. Um, where is my next bone? Here we go. I found it. I did, I did start all of this. 
how should I do it? Should I just cut off like <laughs> one of the sides? How do I do it? Like just because it's a bone or do I just go like snip? Well, if I do it in half, then I can have two Richards. Don't castrate. Because if I do it in half, then we have two Richards. Two is better than one. Take off the round sides. So, like, it's a short Richard, though. You know, he does peak, like, he's a grower, not a shower. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, like, right. Exactly. <laughs> like... I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bust it right down the middle. <laughs> Little BB Richards. <laughs> Grower, not a shower. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna add like just a tiny bit of water to like thin this out because they get thick as they like kind of set up a little bit. Okay, that's so much better. You can just keep adding a little bit of water to it as you go, which is nice. Don't worry, we'll make several Richards. Shaking my head. <laughs> and all the meanie people. They're meanie weenies. Okay, so we have that. It feels so weird using the end of a spoon because I didn't have, sorry, I was like, I realized I was way over there. My bad guys, you're just standing there like watch, or you're just, you're just watching me stand there, like staring, <laughs> like awkwardly. Okay. So then, we all, exactly, we all do have that way. You're super right, Prissy. Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> Cream sprinkles for Richard. Oh no. They're all like very much so on one side. I feel so bad. <laughs> I couldn't get good distribution of the sprinkles on him. His name is Richard. Yeah, he, he does wear a nice little turtleneck, doesn't he? If you haven't seen Richard before, of course. Okay, so this is our last Richard that we have. But I feel like we have to do him justice. We need to do some surgery. Close your eyes. I am a pickle. Hello? <sighs> you guys made me do it. Lace. They made me do it. Apparently, Zeph's in a way. Ha <laughs> Cute Anavan, it's Richard. It's my microphone. Oh, it's a pickle. Yeah, it's me. It's me. Look at this little pickle. A little baby pickle. He looks great. I think he's wonderful. Do you think he'd be bedazzled? I wonder, like... Ooh, I do have some green sprinkles. I like these other ones. It's a pickle. It is. 
we're all just Richards. Richard Bling. <laughs> it here i just needed it oh it just needed it on one side oh i went all blingy on it <laughs> um so a little dinosaur <gasps> should i make him purple just need a splash of water in here i want the pickle <laughs> you know low-key that pickle pie that i made though do you guys remember i think i did that in like what october or something that pickle pie wasn't terrible and I really hate that I feel that way um because it was kind of vile Barney dinosaur right I'm like oh my god it is oh yeah it is giving Barney vibes oh here we go <laughs> I love it I didn't even think about that actually. I'm just like, wait. If I win, stick in my box. Oh, <laughs> stick the pickle in your box, cute stuff. Aw. Aw. Okay, I'm so sorry, Prissy. I'm very sorry. I know how frustrating that is when, you know, the, the site's just not like buffering. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. Wait, I don't even know the song anymore. I was obsessed with Barney when I was little. Any of you guys? Were you guys that way too? Like, was Barney your entire personality or are you normal? Because <sighs> that was me. It's okay. Oh, it makes me feel so sad. I'm sorry, Prissy. Oh, look at it. Little Barney boy. I think he's so cute. Catch y'all sometime during the week. Aw, okay, Prissy. Be safe. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for coming by. The Teletubbies for some reason, right? Okay, the Teletubbies was awesome. From what I remember seeing, like, that was, like, a huge thing for so many people. Oh, okay, what, um, what other flag should I make? Because we have all the colors of the rainbow, but I don't have, like, white or gray or black or anything like that. Hmm. Pan. Okay. Yeah, the pan flag would be a good one to make. I think that would be wonderful. Maybe pan, pink, yellow, blue. Yeah. Like, I'm not me sitting here trying to remember what the order is. And it's my flag. Pink, yeah. Okay, so pink on the top, yellow in the middle. Okay. Uh, the red will be fine, I think. Because the red's kind of, like, pinkish. The buy bone. Yes, we did the buy bone. <laughs> That's true. We did just do the buy bone. That was pretty epic. I'm going to add, like, a squirt of water in there. Smush this around. I have to switch from laptop to TV. No pulling stickies yet. Aw. <gasps> Shnikes, we have a shoot ton of stickies to give away today. That's a fair point. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so pink. Let's do the ghost here. Oh my god, I forgot about stickers today specifically because like we're not in our normal element, you know? There we go. This one. And then we have yellow in the middle. Exceed! Hi! It is not my normal element. You know, the element, part of that element is chaos. How are you? Welcome on in. We made, hi Molly! I'm the loveliest pickle. Hello. Can we get some shout outs for Molly? If we have a mod available. To do a beautiful shout out. We're making the gayest gingerbread cookies ever. A big dill. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we made these delicious gingerbread cookies. They are so 
Good. And we have some uh, lovely beans who are so kind. And Goodness they're gracious, only me. G's. <gasps> Molly, thank you. Thank you for the bibbies. I freaking love Molly and Exceed. Oh, yeah. I was thinking earlier. I want to get in touch with you to talk about doing a cooking stream together or something like you mentioned. I would love that. Corey, hi. How are you? Welcome on in. So good to see you. Um, but two lucky, wonderful beans will have these cookies or sent to them. Aw, Corey, yay. Welcome. So glad you're here. Making some cookies. They taste good, but I am not a decorator at all. Like, my baked goods are going to look very homely, but um, they taste good. <laughs> Realize you made the bone into Richard? Yes, yes. Exactly. Cookie, that's it. <laughs> um, we were working on an email for you actually about the same thing. Really? Yes, please. Yes, do. I was thinking of that earlier as I was getting ready. I'm like, I need Molly in my life. More Molly for me. Yeah, move over, Exceed. I'm just kidding. I was like wondering how the frick that works because I am intrigued as I'll get out. I'm, I realize I'm like way over here. Sorry, guys. I'm not good at this. Okay, but my frosting isn't... It, I'm getting like better, but like I'm staying on the cookie now, which I think is a huge improvement personally. Look at my by bone and my pansexual ghost. None of pride months. Uh, Molly is not a person. Uh, Molly a person. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, definitely Mo Miss Molly makes Molly. No. Uh, Zeph is straight edge. Zeph does not do things. <laughs> Zeph drinks a little bit of alcohol every once in a while, but Zeph does not partake in those things. Ooh, I like... <laughs> that is a fair point. Use a toothpick. <gasps> Shoot, you're right. That would have been a good one. Riot. Your apron? Yes! Oh my god, do you know the history behind this apron? Um, Her name is Tammy. And it was a sugar cookie that I made. Let me see if I can find the emote. Buy bone too cute, right, Corey? I love it. Isn't it precious? Um, okay, so that's Benjamin. I am an artist, clearly. Um, I made a cookie one time. I think it was last summer, actually, of him. And that, if you click on it or mouse it over, that's an actual photo of the cookie. <laughs> And then our artist made the cookie. <laughs> and that's what came out in this Tammy. So I decided to do the most natural, normal thing possible and make an apron out of it. Because Tammy is beautiful. Tammy stares into your soul. Tammy commands you. <laughs> so stinking cute. Oh my god. Freaking Tammy. <laughs> Tammy is our queen. She is. Tammy is. Tammy is love. Tammy is life. Zeph is moving these sprinkles all over. I'm going to make a sprinkle taco. So I can't like sprinkle all over the place here. There we go. Tammy is a mood. Tammy is me after, I don't know. Just can't. Halloween and spooky stuff plus pan. <gasps> Yes. Uh, Twitch made it so you can see your bless. Yes. Yes. Chrissy, I love that. Because I have maple as that one. Like, maple's wonderful. Um, yeah. Like, maple, she's our, like, our only artist that we have on this channel. Um, I'm too obsessed with her. <laughs> so, here we are. <laughs> yeah. We just had our first sub goal for the month, actually. So we are really close to the next one, which is 100, I think, already. That was crazy. Um, so we have a bean cookie, y'all. So what are we going to do? I don't have white frosting, so we can't really recreate Tammy all that well. Um, Rainbow. Aw, Molly. Thank you for the gifted sub to exceed. That's so nice. <laughs> the heck? I don't know what to do when people are so this nice Molly to me. Gifted a tier one sub to see. <laughs> this is our first gift sub in the channel. Thank you so much, Molly, for that gifted sub. That really means a lot. 
Thank you, thank you. What the fork? I'm just a pickle. I'm caught in a pickle today, could one say? Oh, look at me being like doing my edge in here a little bit. I'm going to try to make it like rainbow. Like a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. Um, I'll whinge. I'll whinge. I painted the badge in another streamer's channel. And okay. Oh, I made you excited. I didn't know you got someone to bless someone with it. Yeah. I think that's so important. I think it was like May or something when they came out with it, I think. But I really think that giving recognition to your artists is so important. I'm going to run out of room. There's not enough gay for this cookie. There's not enough gay on this cookie. Enough room for all the gay. Again, we did it. That's all we do in life. Wing it. Honestly, yeah. Just like my eyeliner. I want to make it like not stripes. Like I'll get a toothpick and then I'll ruin it. I'm using the end of spoons for this because that's what I had <laughs> and it works. We love to get innovative. Don't worry. I made room for all the gay. Sh shoot. <laughs> did it wrong i don't know <laughs> rainbow it's fine everybody it's fine we just have two on the bottom <laughs> oh shoot oh no the gay is literally slipping out hold on never enough gay right i'm with you um seriously hello look at oh my god um do i just go like woo Woo. Woo. Wait. Mm. Frosting's good, guys. Swirl it all together, right? Oh, shoot. Okay. It's so pretty, right? It doesn't look that bad, actually. I was like, oh, that's not the worst thing I've done in the world. It's not saying a lot, though. But it's not the worst. I'm going to give it eyes. I didn't even intend for this to happen, but I think we just have a new bean that was born. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wasn't even trying to do this, you guys. Hold up. Let me give it some eyeballs, some pupils. Hold on. Give me a sec, everybody. Look at how close it is together. I didn't even mean they just both kind of dropped. I thought I had two in my hand. We're just a big bean family. A baby bean? Oh my gosh, something like that. So I'm literally taking some food coloring. Marv, oh my god. <laughs> A new bean is born. What the heck? Can you see? I don't know if y'all can see his little like face. I don't want him to like move. Oh, this light is not good in here. This light's not very good. <laughs> Get 
Gaven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um. <laughs> Bean Sprout Gaven. He's so we if He really is, isn't he? <laughs> oh my god. Those two sprinkles just came out of my hand, though. I was going to try to spread them out a little more. But I think he is perfect just the way he is. <clears throat> I really feel like he's wonderful. I love Gavin as well. Gavin is wonderful. Um, let's do some more cookies. Here we go. Got some more hearts. Gavin is beautiful. <laughs> Must protect Gavin. <laughs> Gavin, Tammy, and Benjamin. I like Gavin. <laughs> maybe maybe that's Benjamin during Pride Month. You know, maybe I switch him. Gavin comes back home. One big happy family. I know, and I love that so much, Kirsta. This tickles me. I'm not good at frosting, y'all. A perfect little bean family. Look at how cute. Um, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to put these little sprinkles all over this. Because I can't really. Because these will roll. Basically is what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's so cute. I just sprinked all over this thing. Just a little heart. All right, Molly. See you soon. <laughs> I can't believe how beautiful he is. Oh, my God. Tammy was made with my left hand, though. And I'm a right-handed person. I know, wasn't it so cute? I love it. Um, what should I do? Should I do a blue heart? I don't think we use blue a lot. Oh no, blue used to be my favorite color growing up and then I, I found orange and I like orange. But blue is a beautiful color though, I will admit. Navy, I mean even like teal. A lefty, oh you cut your hair with your right hand. Is that because of like the scissors and stuff? That they, that they let you use, or they make you use and stuff. I love dark green. Ooh, just like a really nice, deep, moody, woodsy green color. Deep green is so pretty. Aww, I like it. Oh, you use your left hand, but you learn everything backwards. Oh, God, that would break my brain. Seriously. They have, like, I saw on TikTok, they have, like, these special shears or something that you can get. I just realized I haven't done any airplanes yet. We totally got to do these. Do a little airplane. Hi, KJ. How are you? Welcome on in. Oh, the standard is right-handed. I feel like everything... It, like, this is just a, a weird right-handed world. And I don't know how to feel. You know what I mean? Like, a, right, a weird right-handed world. And I, as a righty, it feels weird. I don't like it. Purple? <gasps> Wait, yes. Okay, I like that. I like that more. Teeny Bar! Gonna do an airplane for Miss Teeny. Hello! Left-handed scissors are the worst. Yeah, like, I feel like they are pretty terrible, personally. Like, do if you're left-handed, do you actually use left-handed scissors? Or have you kind of, like, adapted to using right-handed scissors? Just because they're, like, more readily available for the most part? <clears throat> oh, just watching the chaos. Nice. <laughs> Did you see Gavin? Gavin was born. I love Gavin. 
Hello, Mallory, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, this is so very messy. It has all the little like corners and stuff. I feel like this would be way easier to like pipe, you know? But I don't have six piping bags. I only have two. I feel like this could have been like way done by now. <laughs> uh, adapted. Oh, you've adapted to it. Uh, so what did Michael say about what pup? In regards to what? Um, do we have another one that, oh yeah, I had another plane that I put over here. Oh, you've adapted to right-handed scissors. Nice. Okay. I see. I mean, it makes sense to me though. Cause like, like I said, the, the, there are a lot of like what's available to some people. Ooh, should I do like drizzle? This is not really like drizzle consistency, but what if it's like, just a little bit of frosting. Lefties or righties? That's a good question, actually. I don't think we've actually done that kind of poll before. Good thinking. I'm a right-handed person. Like, right-handed all the way for me. <clears throat> oh, about my costume. He, he, you know, the things that we do, he just doesn't really get phased by it most of the time anymore. Uh, doing well getting ready for bed oh have such an early work day I feel that I hope that your day goes well tomorrow though tomorrow I'll be playing the sims and we will be doing um decades challenge stuff and by the way hi Kater Todd how are you welcome on in um yeah so I'll be doing the decades challenge tomorrow and then Friday in case you missed it I'll actually be doing a bonus stream so I will be streaming on Friday um, at like noon. I am excited. An infomercial host a little bit because of like my headset and stuff. <laughs> Aww. It's actually like one of Michael's work headsets. <laughs> yeah, Friday. I usually don't stream. I'll do I'll be doing watercoloring on Friday. So if you watercolor. I'm going to be trying it out for the first time. Something I've always been interested in. So why not? Give it a good old try. Um, some yellow under little feetsies. You guys can't even really see. Like this light is just doing me more dirty than good, I think. Look at the little feetsies. He's so cute. Uh, a poly flag. Oh, what uh, What are the colors on that one? Can you let me know what that is? Aw, Dino Roar. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to turn off this light real quick, though. Because it is very, very, very obnoxious, and you guys can hardly see what I'm like doing most of the time. Pink, green, and blue. Okay, so you said poly flag, right? Poly flag, let me look it up. Oh, wow, okay. It's like a purpley color. Is it like, it's more like a magenta? A TARDIS cookie jar? Yes, I do, I do. Um, it's more of like a purpley shade. Should I do, oh God, what should I do? Pink, green, and blue. I guess I could mix like red and purple to see if I can come up with something a little bit. Like, I don't know if I can like mix it on the cookie. I want to try to do it, of course. I love, I have some poly friends. I love them. They were amazing. I'm going to do this. Actually, three sets of poly friends. Honestly. It's more like a... I don't know if I can actually do this. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm like getting way back there. 
Okay. It's kind of turning this weird, like, pinky purpley color. Is it better with or without the light, you guys? Is it better with or without it? Okay. I mean, it's closer. Maybe if they added, like, a tint of blue to it. Maybe just, like, a literal little blob of blue. I do a Tardis cookie jar. My, that was Michael's. And everything. He's the Whovian of the household. I like I like this like subtle even though like a TARDIS isn't really subtle in my opinion without yeah like I thought it was too because that light is just very like strong in here especially with this okay so like I think this is like as close as I'm gonna get it because it's a very beautiful like this nice like that's a pretty color though the poly flag <clears throat> and then green not bad the camera that camera is kind of like doing a little bit of like difficulty picking it up but I think it's all right okay so then blue on the bottom I do have those two colors so the blue and the green absolutely I love them. The pink, the purple pink reminds me of the lumpy space princess. Yes. Oh my God. It's, it is lumpy space princess colored, isn't it? That is too funny. Oh my God. I love the lumpy space princess. Adventure time is just a whole freaking mood though. I think. Oh my God. Wait. Ugh. See, it kind of did it. I think it looks okay. Like I got as close as I could with the color with what I have. I think. Like a very mauvey color. I couldn't get it as quite as bright as it actually is. I know I love Adventure Time too. It's such a good show. I'm gonna rinse off my hands. <clears throat> We've made a huge dent out of these cookies. Oh, it looks awesome. Thank you, Adavan. All right, what next? What do we have? I've done the pan, the buy. Let's see, what other colors do I have? That's that's kind of the problem. I could kind of do lesbian, kind of. Not really. Um. Oh, it, it, it does look like the Try Guy colors. That's, that's fair. I don't have white, so I couldn't really do trans. Um, bought some hot chips and gravy for lunch. Oh, that sounds so good. I love that. We made uh, burgers and like brats on the grill last night. It was delicious. And what's dino? Oh, it was on the dino, wasn't it? Yes. That's so perfect. I'm going to do a little purple guy. Here we go. Um, lesbian. Oh, Corey, that'd be perfect. I kind of can do lesbian flag. Sort of. I don't really have like the broad, the, the different colors of like the pink and like the oranges and stuff. Um, cause I don't really have white to mix in there. Darn it. I would love to be able to do a lesbian flag. How cute this baby is. I love him. Look at him. Hello, Cassandra. How are you? Welcome on back. So good to see you today. I think I'm going to do this one. Right here. I'm going to put the lid. Hello? Where's the lid on this one? Did I do? I have no idea if this one even had a lid. Or like a sprinkle top one, like a, the one with the grate on the top. Dave was my old cat. Um, he he was diabetic. He was very 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 special to me. That he like a piece of my soul left. Um, he's the gray and the white cat emote. His name was Dave. He was my precious baby. 
but he passed away very suddenly in October of 2021. Um, yeah, he my baby. I loved him. Peace of my soul, like I said, left this planet when that cat left. For sure. It was the hardest decision I ever made was to help him pass. But I feel like he gave me a lot of signs um, to let me know that it was his time. I know, he was such a fantastic baby, wasn't he? He really was, though. Kyber is very snuggly, but not, like, so, like, touch-oriented like Dave was. Because Dave was like, I have to touch you all the time. And Kyber's like, I'm going to cuddle under the blankets with you. Aw, Cass, I'm so sorry. That's It's so difficult. You know, loving an animal is truly, like, a selfless type of love. You know, like you give uh, their time and attention to them. And we do our best with the time that we have with them on this planet. It's difficult, especially knowing when to say goodbye is the thing. <gasps> hey, we're doing, uh, Jacques, we're doing uh, gingerbread cookies. We have a, quite a few people that entered themselves into the raffle. Um, there's like a little menu in the corner right there. So thank you guys for your support today and every day in all sorts of ways. Y'all are amazing. <sighs> okay. I do want to give them some unfrosted cookies, though. I will say that. I feel like I've only done like one ghost. So I'm going to do another ghost. Because these are really good. Aw, Ducky said your cat snowball passed last June and I still have pictures of her everywhere. I know, right? I still have Dave like as the background of my computer. I love my current cats. Don't get me wrong. I do to pieces. But drizzle all the colors. Ooh, wait, that's a good idea. I'll do that one now. I did like one drizzle, but I'm totally going to do like a lot of drizzle. I like it. Jacques, I'm doing wonderful today. My, like, back and, like, legs are kind of murdering me. But I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm not used to standing on my feet. I'm wearing, like, shoes and I'm on, like, a, a mat. Oh, I have a mouse pad on my cat, right? <laughs> but I'm glad that I have, like, lots of photos and all sorts of things to remember Dave by. Especially with the, uh... Um, all the emotes... All of the fan art, technically, if you think about it, with all the, the seasonal like stickers and stuff that we do. I love that. Speaking of stickers, Kirsta, are you in a decent spot to do stickers at all right now? Professor Meow Meows, when I got him when I was older, I'm like one and a half years, but I still miss him dearly, even all like seven or so, right? Sometimes you just get that animal that you just vibe with so inexplicably i get it dave was my bottle baby i had him for nine years he got diabetes when he was oh god uh like three i think so i think he had diabetes for like six years if i'm remembering my numbers properly but yeah like he um actually had a condition called acromegaly and which is kind of like a tumor grows at a part of their brain and it makes their it messes with like their growth hormone or something like that i don't remember exactly what but um it makes their organs grow a lot <laughs> in, in like size and um usually it, it causes early diabetes just like dave had because he got it at three out of nowhere um, and usually don't know about it until it's too late. Kind of like what it was, what it was with Dave and like Dave, he got, he ended up getting sick, um, due to like having diabetes and everything, you know, that makes him immunocompromised in that way. And he got like a little cold. I see this now. I didn't realize it in the moment, 
but he got a little cold and then he passed away um, due to like not eating. And that's really bad news for diabetic babies. But I loved that cat with every ounce of my soul. Like he was, he helped me through some really rough stuff. Oh, we have six stickers. Okay. All right, let me pull up Nightbot real quick. So I don't have any references right now, but we have a summer sticker because it gets up in my office, but we have a summer sticker. Um, once every 10 subs, we give away a sticker. So thank you guys for that. Um, Dave was a beautiful boy. I loved him. He was so derpy and so sweet. Um... All right, if you guys want to enter for a summer sticker, go ahead and type sticky, S-T-I-C-K-Y, just like that in chat, and we'll get you going. So I ship these worldwide. It's my extra thank you to you guys for everything that you do for this community, for hanging out, for being here, being a part of it, no matter where you are. Um, the stickers are like a piece to take with you. Or to not stick anywhere if you're like me, because I can't make decisions <laughs> based on stickers. But I am so very appreciative of you guys for everything that you do. Um, I've been full-time here for over two years. And I have loved every bit, no matter how hard things have gotten. With like personal things and whatever, or, you know, just like the generalities of being a content creator. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of your day and a part of your space. We have an orange dinosaur. All right. So um, I am going to go ahead and draw. So if it draws your name, you'll need to whisper. Um, uh, uh, Kirsta. Sorry, I forgot your name for a second. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and Katara. Woo! Whisper Kirsta. She's got your form waiting for you. You know the drill, my dear. You know the drill. So we have like a handful of cookies left. I'm going to leave some of them unfrosted because I feel like there's a good balance of frosted versus unfrosted that can get sent to the two lucky people. I think is a good place to be right now. Oh, <laughs> me! <laughs> the little S is cute. Me, 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 me. Look at her in there. Riot, thank you so much. What the fork? You're so nice. Riot, thank you a lot for the sub. Holy shnikes. Welcome on into the Beanie Weenie community. Thank you for that extra, extra bit of support Aww, on the sticker. Yeah, very awesome. We've got five more to give away, so hang on tight. Uh, Adavan, go ahead and send a message to Kirsta. These are summer stickers. They're really cute. It's like a beach volleyball style thing. I don't have a way of showing you at the moment, but I promise they're cute as I'll get out. Fingers and toes crossed. I promise. <laughs> Want to learn how to cook, be more independent, and thanks for sharing the recipe to us? Definitely. Cassandra, for sure. Props to you. You're amazing. You want to try to make some cookies, and don't be so hard on yourself if you mess up, right? That's all part of learning. All a part of learning. The one the one bit of advice that I will say to you. Taza! Go ahead and message Kirsta. But the one bit of advice that I will say to you, Cassandra, is read the recipe, pull everything out. Don't be afraid to take your time. And go right in order with everything. You'll learn the technique. You'll get it. It'll be good. <laughs> you will make mistakes. And that's okay. It's all a part of the process. Need that apron? Yes! This apron! Yeah, the apron is on the, the merch store, Mindy. How are you? Yep, if you guys purchase any merch items, all the the proceeds that I get, uh, that I would get as, as income, I donate straight to the Trevor Project. So thank you for that. I've done that since I started streaming. Um, I'm not doing so good at a redownload the Sims and pack so much stress. Aw, Jacques, I'm sorry. I really hope it gets easier on you. New beginnings. I know how stressful that is. <laughs> so, right, so by Richard Aford, right? I want to, I know Gavin. 
I want to commission Maple for Gaven. I really do. Your girl's back is screaming. I sit for a living. I'm not made for standing up and, and I think standing in place. It's more difficult than walking, honestly. Also, Jacques, go ahead and send a message to Kirsa. She's got your form waiting for you. You know, like standing in place is murder. But like if you walk, it's different because I can walk and be on my feet, but I can't like stand in place that easily. On top of what Zeph said, I don't get his heart. And if it doesn't turn out like the recipe says, exactly. The Pinterest, oh my God, see? Um, the best treats I've cooked myself aren't pretty by any means. Oh my gosh. And Cassandra, I want to show you. I've been baking for a long time. I like it. My cookies taste wonderful, but they do not look good. <laughs> All right, just have fun. Have fun with that. I know, right, Iris? I feel like I need a stool. But they're not pretty by any means. Not even a little bit. But they taste really good. I am, I'm okay that. <laughs> You're frothing at the mouth. Ducky on. Good news. It's the, the sticker is going to be around for a while though. For a few months. So it just started. All right, next one we've got. Oh my God. <laughs> Lady Dragon. Go ahead and send a message to Kirsa. Mm-hmm. Right instinct? Exactly. Your first cookies got so hard. I threw one at a wall out of anger. They were not edible, right? I've been there too. I I once used um, salted butter and then I added salt into the uh, um, into the thing so it was like extra salty. What's it look like? Um... You can still type sticky to enter. We've got one more to do. Oh, yeah, I can show you guys. Hold on. Give me one second. Here we go. All right, beans. Don't mind me. Woo! This is the sticker, by the way. We've got one sub until we do one more. Uh, once every 10. But this is the sticker. Um, it'll be cut out. There'll be like a little white border around it. Extra salty cookie, right? <laughs> cookie, I love that. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? Yes, I love it. It's so adorable. Oops, wrong thing. Hold on. Here we go. Um, so one more sub for the next one. But right now, the last one at the moment, we have Christy. Christy's art. Now go ahead and send a message to Kirsta. But that officially makes seven stickers for the month of June already. Thank you guys a lot. Emo, what the heck? <laughs> you good over there, Kista? You good there, boo-boo? <laughs> Emo, I mean me. <laughs> I'm going to take a screenshot of that and put that in the Mean Bean chat because that's funny. Emo, me. That's a mood. <laughs> I am also Emo. I am also emo. Boop. <laughs> oh, y'all tickle me. We're all good. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I really, oops. I'm just going to keep it here. A burnt no bake cookies that still amuses my mom. <laughs> you burnt no bake cookies because you didn't realize that you like didn't have to put them into the, uh, the oven right that you could just like refrigerate them and they set up in there because it's like what peanut butter chocolate and like oats or something for the most part maybe a little bit of vanilla in some recipes <sighs> that tickles me that's like something that baby Zeph would do I felt that so hard right oh you don't even have to fridge them really oh my god <laughs> some recipes right wait what am I doing here we go I need to There we go. I want to take that off so it's not like covering my face all the time if I'm over here. It's tricky. <laughs> Good cam setups are, are difficult. Parchment on the whole table and slap them down. Oh, that's so good. I remember my mom doing something like that. Michaela's eating more chips than me. Honestly, same though. 
same though. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So I will, uh, after I do like a little bit of cleanup, I'm going to get my booty moving with some of the, uh, like figuring out what's going on with the uh, stickers or no, the winners of those. So stay in touch with your DMs. I hope to get them mailed out tomorrow. I'm assuming I like connect with the person properly and like at a timely manner and everything. But I'll raffle those out. Thank you for all your support, you guys. You guys are amazing. My back is killing me. I'm gonna make Michael rub it. <laughs> but um, I think we're gonna go on a raid. So I actually want to go say hi to Maple. So we're gonna go say hi to Maple. She's our artist. Um, maybe we can go tell her about Gavin. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the recipe I did initially is the stove to have to melt a peanut butter, but I didn't mention. Oh no, it didn't mention to like remove it. Oh, yep. Sometimes recipes gotta be like literal sometimes. I'm with you. Thank you all so much for the, for the freaking support and the fun today. It was so good. I love, 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 love baking stream. So thank you for being a part of my day. Um... If you guys have a sub, make sure to copy and paste the Beanie Weenies incoming. Otherwise, little hand parts will do just fine. I'll be back tomorrow night with some Sims and our normal element. Oh, my God. So if you missed it, we kissed our love interest. And he is a dog. And we're going to breed the dogs. And it's going to be cute. And they're going to have the weirdest babies. And it's going to be wonderful. So Maple's our artist again. So her content is not family friendly. But she is still a wonderful place to go hang out. But not family friendly. Just so you know. It's still amazing. I love Maple. She's such a gem. Um, I know the new better love interest definitely. He's not going to ditch us at the movies. He's not. Hi, Tyrion. I love you. So I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Central. I love you. As I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially with you in it. And let's go say hi to Maple. So bye. Bye. Catch you later.